Burning Bridges on Monday, uh, May 8th. We got a lot going on today. Uh, uh, Jimmy's counting his money. Show Jimmy counting his money. <laughs> oh, seriously. Show him can't like it like he like he's literally he's literally like a fucking pimp counting his money on a Monday <laughs> afternoon. Focus on your show, man. I'm okay. So Kevin Hart might be coming today, Jimmy. He's going to call around 2.30, he said. He's going to call the hotline? Not our line. He's going to call your phone? What the fuck you look like calling your line? You know? You go- Why are you yelling at me like this? First mean? of all, speaking to the mic, so Kev- uh, uh, Jimmy has some thing with Kevin Hart. He ran into Kevin Hart this weekend. Dude, whoa, whoa. And, uh, and Jimmy's Jimmy's like, I saw Jimmy on the street. I ran into a lot of people on the street. Jimmy goes, yeah, Kev- no, I saw Kevin Hart. I know he's a ran- streets heavy, too. No, I saw Kevin Hart. He was. I saw him on Saturday, so I shook his hand. I know he's physically there. I, he bumped me a couple times, so I know he's there. So Jimmy goes, yeah, uh, I got a thing, so of course. <gasps> and anyway, Ritu, uh, she's Indian. How do you, what is, how do you say her name? Chandra. Ritu Chandra. So um, first of all, Ritu, uh, um, Indian people... There's like I, I live in Jersey City yeah. and I, Indian people live in my building, uh-huh. and uh, there's this Indian lady. She looks professional. I'm assuming she works from home or whatever. She goes up to the gym next to me sometimes, and she stinks. So it's yeah. like, do they not know they stink? They don't. They don't she, have I, deodorant in India. They don't have it. Like, that's like I could see if you're like if you, if you're just like blue collar Indian, but if you're a professional Indian person, yeah, don't no, you know you're supposed you to not tell stink? Her. You should tell her. I one time she was leaving the gym. I go, wow. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, how do you not know you stink? You don't smell it do when you, you know? smell And this is actually... Because they don't, if your husband why, stinks and you stink, then this you... This is why they just, smell. They don't wash their clothes that much. Yeah. So the smell gets embedded in the clothes and they wear the same clothes over and over. But I don't understand. I mean, I don't smell. Know that. Do I smell? No. So not all Indians smell. Yeah, but the, my point is, they, there's a laundry. They, they have a washer dryer in their unit. In yeah, our they, in our building, it, all the apartments have a washer dryer in the oh, thing. In the unit, there's no in the excuse. unit. So there's no excuse. So I'm like, is it all just food, or they're just culturally they want to smell? To I, they don't smell it. They don't know. I swear, and they don't have deodorant in India, so it's like not a thing. Man, Imagine going shit. to India. Don't y'all got a water crisis in India also? I don't live in India. I was born I'm and raised here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's saying. a water That's, crisis. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few I, crises. I, I saw some shit on that, man. Okay, and also a uh, special guest, Gavin McGinnis, is here. Uh, Hello. He was uh, in the hallway. I ran into him. The, I pretend we're at Fox News. I ran into him in the Fox News hallway. Yeah. And uh, the green room. And he he brought up the uh, he saw my brother's Neil my brother Neil's uh, three mic special. On that shit. And uh, so he was the first guy who said he like it. So I'm like, come on the show. Oh, I, no, it's I, not even like I'm jealous. People think I'm like jealous and bitter. Even if I am a little bit, I'm a little I'm a little jealous of everybody. You know, like I'm jealous of my kids because they have a nice because they don't sunburn because <laughs> my wife's Hispanic and my kid and my kids they don't sunburn. So I'm jealous of them on some level. And the oh, fact jealous. that they the fact that they only have they're one of two. And I was one of ten, all that shit. So I, I can find something to be jealous about everybody. But the whole thing was like I say about my brother's special. Neil's a businessman. He's a businessman first and foremost. Like he used to look at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like one time I did a Conan special, not a special, but a spot. He goes, "What the fuck are you wearing?" I was like, and we got we we fought at Thanksgiving for like two hours about what I was wearing <laughs> on Conan. And he probably had a point. Like you got to rep- you got to represent yourself. He said I looked like I was I was just came from a like I like I was dressed like a fucking altar boy, you know, like I was wearing like dark pants, dark khaki. It wasn't it prob- it wasn't it probably wasn't a good look. But sometimes you don't see it, and so so I don't I don't I'm not oblivious to the fact that he's a businessman. You know what like I mean? An Indian, but you stink uh, at dressing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So so. So Gavin says, uh, you know, he didn't like Neil's thing because, and everybody else says they liked it, and and then somebody said it was like highly rated on Netflix. It don't matter to me. I saw the special, and and again, like what he did was he broke it down into into segments so that he didn't even need as many jokes because he made one segment he was depressed and he talked about being depressed. Yeah, I I I thought it sucked. I like that it sucked because. Why should I get mad that he's insulting my brother? Stand-up comics are some of the least creative people ever. It's it's sort of like painters if they only did landscapes. The whole narrative, the whole setup, hasn't changed in 20 years. They're still doing the exact same structure. It's so boring. No, but part not to I don't need to cut you off, but partly it's because you got to follow a guy. It's a formula. No, no, it's not only that. You got to, the crowd expects a certain way. Like the crowd, if, you, if, you, if you're the fifth. Music isn't like that. Music know, changes but if, every six months. No, but if you're the fifth guy on a show at the Comedy Cellar, 
and you start trying to do something different. They like DC Benny, you know him. He he does comedy differently, and he just he can't get booked as easily as a as a setup punchline guy because he's not doing that. And I and don't so, like the whole industry then. No, it's terrible. But also, it's like the crowd expects once they're once they're set up a certain way. They expect that's what they expect. So if you go on, you try to be different. The crowd's like, oh, this is fucked up. You know, even if you have attitude now, as a white guy, even if you have attitude. Ever since Trump, ever you know, you can't like, it's unbelievable. Like I can feel, I can see the the loathing in white women's eyes when I'm when, even if I'm having a little bit of attitude. So to go back to Neil's thing is that's another part of the thing. You have to be like a victim because women love a victim. You know, they they love a guy who's like they they don't want to deal with alpha alpha males anymore. They want to deal with these guys that are like passive, walking around like they whatever. The woman wants to lead. They don't want to fuck with motherfuckers with real dick game. That's what's really going. Okay, well, let's try to keep. Let's try to keep the guys black. No, because no, because no, that's cooler. That's cooler. But if you're a white guy, if you're a white guy, you got to be real passive. You got to be. You got to let them lead. Can't I just see it. I see it. You got to be a happening. vegan. You got to be. And that's another thing. Younger women though. Huh? These are younger women though. No, these are. Like Manhattan women in under under thirty five, whatever age. I can, I just see that the constantly comedy club. in the jury pool. Those uh, kind of women. I just see it. I just see it now, and I see it at the comedy club. And plus, a lot of times they're going out in packs to the comedy club, and, and they and, shouldn't be there. Women aren't funny. It's it's like going to a metal concert. What are they doing? Yeah. At no, they no, they go to judge. They they hear the at the comedy cellar. Like it's such a hot spot now. They hear they got to go, so they can say they went. They go with a group of friends. And it's and they just sit there and judge and like unless Amy Schumer shows up. So if you're a white male, you better be very like you know I'm a loser or, or I'm not or not aggressive, not like nonverbal. You, you can't fuck be aggressive. That. You're up against. I mean, you said it because you're not working there. You you say you say fuck that all you want. You could say fuck that all you want. Me. But it's the fact. I bombed. I bombed this weekend. I follow Kevin Hart bumped me. No, he didn't bump me. He just bumped the show. He does a long set. And, and then and then uh, Greer the Barnes end. goes up. He's black. And then Barnes goes up. He's an Indian guy. So I go up. I, I should wear a fucking hood. Like I should be wearing like you a should. You should wear hood because Seth Lord, when I go Seth up there, when I went up there. I didn't even go up gr aggressively. I went up passively because I knew what their take would be. Like this uh, motherfucker. Kev, you're selling out then. You I'm not, not selling out. I'm, I got to feed my family first, and then I got to figure out. The, I got to figure out the game. What do you think I'm doing this for? Like I've said a, a million times. The reason I can even this. do the podcast is because I'm not following anybody. Like I'm following people t theoretically, but I'm not deal. I'm not following them with the, with a shared audience. You know what I mean? Yep. I have my own audience, so they listen to me, and they don't expect me to like. If I follow Greer and he's and he kills, I can't go up with like all this attitude because they'll be like, "Why the fuck is he yelling?" Why can't so sometimes, you? huh? I can't you? Because it don't work that way. You act like Man, you don't you know what the fuck the I'm tone, talking Kev. about. Huh? You anyway, to go tone. back to to go back to Neil. You're just tell me why stand-up comedy sucks. I don't care. I just know it sucks. Because it's so it's core. Like 1979 punk, like right. the Bones. Right. Every single right. band for 20 years. Right. We're stuck in 1979. Right. Comics are still hung up on the Ramones. I swear to God, I, I, so many comics are like the Ramones because that's that represented something to people like just being whatever the fuck the Ramones represented. People um. still they still want to be like they want to. I want to be like an individual, do whatever the fuck I want. Not they even were just work. dumb guys from Queens who were making fun of Italians, and it was seen by the intellectuals as some sort of it's empowering the blue collars. Oh, it means this, and they were just trying to do rockabilly. Yeah, but also they're not. They were pretending like they didn't want to make it, right? So, so that's that uh, to me. Me, that was like part of them we're like we we're not trying to make it we're just trying to be these things and then they made it being these things right yes but but this is what i thought about neil's special i thought at least it's different he had three mics one was silly jokes one was observation one was him being depressed the depressed thing was so boring that it was you ever have a hangover that's so bad that it's interesting and you yeah. go oh my god i have aids <laughs> this is the worst anyone has ever felt ever i can't yeah. even barf because that's too intense i'll right. get an aneurysm yeah it was like that bad and i thought okay so i'm bored out of my mind like i want to myself for a third of the show that's new never never been in at a comedy show well, you didn't want to change the channel though right you wanted to like no because as a piece of art i thought this is very interesting it was like seeing a painting of like a baby being stabbed in the cunt or something <laughs> i'm like that's new uh, i feel horrible right now the thing was I, I i people say oh i liked it and everything and then i said well you know the thing for me is i know what's going on i know really the back the all, all the backstory of it so 
you know, whatever. Well, that's so, another so, more interesting layer is that he's lying about his depression. No, he's saying like, you know, my, my dad, his, my, our dad fucked him over. Her, our dad didn't fuck him over. You know, like Neil got money, uh, or that what really what happened was uh, Neil and Chappelle made Half Baked. You know, the movie Half Baked. Mm -hmm. So my dad went to see it, and he said it's not his kind of comedy. So. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad, my dad wasn't a pothead. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> smoke pot. He had ten kids. Who? How can you smoke pot? You and have ten kids? You'll get nothing done. <laughs> so, so Neil took it personally. Neil said he was gonna. He said the next time he saw my dad, he was gonna kill him, or what? whatever. I mean, Neil, <laughs> Neil can't. Neil's a vegan. He can't kill anybody. So, <laughs> the point is that uh, from that, it was uh, it led to a lot of bad blood, and then, uh, and then. My dad was, my dad got sick and then he had a will and then it was like, you know, and then I think him and Neil had like a fight and then, and then Neil was cut out of the will, out of my dad's will. But it, well, we had nine kids, so it was not like we were making a fortune like anyway. grand or yeah, something. We weren't making a fortune anyway. So, so Neil, so then that became like the, the impetus for the show. Like, like my dad fucked me over. But I mean, come on! Like Chappelle fucked Neil over, really. Yeah. Chappelle, they 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 had a uh, great Neil fuck Chappelle over, bro. Huh? Stop that! Neil turned on Dave. So anyway, okay, you'll have. I'll give you your pee. I'll give you a say in a minute. But anyway, so Neil and Chappelle made this great show, and then Chappelle fucking went to Africa instead of just you know, and and he didn't tell Neil. Neil, oh, I mean, I knew I knew practically uh, as soon as any, and Neil only found out because uh, Chappelle's brother-in-law told Neil he went to Africa. Really? Chappelle, Chappelle only told his brother-in-law, and then I remember asking Neil, I go, what the fuck's going on? He goes, you wouldn't believe me, and then he goes, he goes, he went to Africa, and I go, okay, well, <laughs> so so basically, Chappelle one black guy we don't want to go back to Africa. <laughs> <and he fucking laughs> goes. So Chappelle, Chappelle fucked Neil over way worse than my dad did, because if Chappelle would have said, Neil, I don't want to do the show, Neil could have like, you know, he could have been having meetings, he could have been like, but he basically just go, he's, you know, Neil made money off of who knows how much money, but the point was, Chappelle just kind of said, fuck you, Neil, but he said, fuck you to everybody. So to sort of make it like my dad fucked Neil over is a joke. My dad didn't do anything. Right. If Neil, and again, Neil's cheap as fuck, so if, if Neil needed my dad's money from the inheritance, he would have been kissing my dad's ass. He, he wouldn't have been like, he, he wouldn't have been like, you're an asshole, you're a shit dad. I mean, my dad might have been a shit dad, but I, I got two kids. If I had ten, I'd be a total, I'm a shit dad, I got two kids. <laughs> yeah, how can you be a good dad with ten kids? Yeah. You'd be Superman. Right, so, and then on top of that, my dad was an alcoholic, even though he, he was a lawyer, he never missed a day of work. Like, I, I don't remember even being hung over. Even on weekends, he wouldn't be hung over. He would, like, get up, he'd be painting and shit. So, so if he was a, if he was an alcoholic, he was the best alcoholic of all time, you know? Because he was a total, he just, he, he would just come home and drink but again he would come home he would make himself like two manhattans and then have a beer at dinner but he had 10 kids and he was he, he, you know what i mean so it how do you relax like he killed his dad by shaming him <laughs> he died of shame so so neil's whole thing was my dad didn't give me the props because that's the whole millennial thing. They want a lot of props. Yeah. So Neil, in my opinion, Neil was the first millennial. <laughs> he was the original millennial, and he was like, where are my props? And my dad's like, I, I don't give props because I got 10 kids. I don't have that kind of time to be giving props to everybody. And he was one of 12. My dad was one of 12. So, and he grew up in the Depression, and they were poor. My, his dad was an alcoholic. So it was all this shit going on. So my dad was like, it's just a survival game. But now it's like the millennials, they, they, they don't, it's not about survival. It's about like, give me praise. I need praise. Why was he expecting praise though? Was your mom giving him a lot of praise? Like, yeah, because he's the youngest of 10. So when you, when the youngest of 10, you do get, you, because the mom knows that's the last one. Right. So, so when anything they're holding back, like when you say to a crowd, this is the last comic. So, so, you know, if you've been holding back so far. Right. So my mom, I remember my mom would say, uh, 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 he would say, Neil said a very interesting word today. <laughs> and, you know, Neil was like five, and he and I said, what was the word? She goes, crosswalk. I go, I've been saying that. <laughs> like it's so, it was so unimpressive to me. Who gives a fuck about crosswalk? I mean, I was 15, but still. So, so to make Neil like a hero, another thing that Neil did, which was really annoying, Neil, every, when Neil started doing stand-up eventually, everybody he knew was doing stand-up like his brother all his friends like he just he worked at a comedy club that's where he met Chappelle you know just from knowing me he got a job at the Boston Comedy Club downtown and so when he when he when he started doing stand-up he was like he wanted like a fucking parade you know 
so it would be like the equivalent of like living in Boston, being Irish. Everyone you know is a cop or a fireman. You're like, and then you become a fireman and you pretend you're a fucking hero, you know? Right. Yeah. So he wants a lot of he wants a lot of like you're doing great, Neil. And then if you give him any if you give him any uh, uh, you know uh, criticism or just a, a constructive criticism, like I remember one time he he sent me this uh, a movie that he written. So I read it. I go, yeah, I don't I don't know. Why don't you make it this? He goes, fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Does he have kids? No. See, that's married, what it is right? with these wrinkled teenagers. They play video games all day, and yeah. they become self-obsessed. Right. And they, they become busybodies, like old lady fuddy-duddies who want to tell you what to do, yeah. and they whine about themselves. Real people don't have time for that shit. How many kids you got? Three. So that, I agree. And then somebody was saying that, uh, or Keith Robinson was saying that, because uh, I was telling him somebody was really mad at me, and they were like, and they wouldn't let it go. And and Keith Robinson said, he goes, yeah, he don't have kids. Cause it's like, once you have kids, yeah. you just get over shit because you, because you don't have time for it. You just, you just like, what the, who cares, who cares, you know? Like, Why people, didn't you go to that party? Because I'm married with kids. What am I, I going to eat a chick and fuck her? I don't want to yeah. go to a party. Well, that's the best part about having kids. You can get out of any social situation. You yeah. know, like my, my son's fussy. My son, my son was like, he was, uh, we went to a, a birthday party on Sunday. My wife was working, so I had to take him, but it was started at 12. So we go there and my son's being a total fucking asshole. <laughs> How old is he? He's five or he's four going on five. So I go, I go, let's just walk over here, which was fine by me. Cause I don't want to talk to anybody anyway, you know? So right. I, so, the, so people are coming over going, oh, are you, he's okay. I go, yeah, he's, he's okay. And then he was like, let's go back to party. I go, no, let's just stay here. <laughs> it was, it was just better for me if, if we're isolated, but, but yeah, if Neil had kids, if Neil had 10 kids, when, when my dad was Neil's age, my dad had 10 kids. So if Neil had 10 kids, it would be a, just a totally different situation, you know. He would be, he would just, you don't, you, you don't be thinking like, oh, how did somebody hurt my feelings, you know? He talks in that special like he has stage four cancer. Yeah. Like it really, you, you believe it. You go, holy shit, I, I thought depression was just when you're bummed out. I didn't know it was this crippling disease where you think about suicide every day and you're not allowed to have sharp objects in the house. Plus, he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have to have a job because he, I don't know, he made money from the Chappelle show. Right. So he, so he, a lot of that was just sitting around thinking like maybe he was sad. He just wasn't busy. He wasn't busy, and yeah. Chappelle, uh, you know, he maybe was like, you know, thinking about what he could have done. You know, just all looking back instead of looking forward, because like when something traumatic happens, I mean, Chappelle did fuck him over. I mean, that's he did, and he didn't even mention that special. In, in the special, I don't know, I didn't see it on Netflix, but in the special, he mentioned that, um, that. You know, she's working for. He's still kissing Chappelle's ass, even in the I remember special. when that shit happened. I remember him saying, "What the hell, dude?" To yeah. The press. He goes, "We don't know what's going on. We're out of a job. Lots of people are out of a job. We don't know what he's doing." Yeah. And that changed, and he's he's hidden that, and now it's. Oh no, like, yeah. My dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad took my show away because he didn't like pot music. Yeah. Owner of comedy. Yeah. So it became about like you know Chappelle's great, and my dad's an asshole. I'm like, okay, well, Jimmy, what do you got to say? How did Neil Chappelle, how fuck over Chappelle? Man, you, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to combat that. It, you're saying all this shit about Dave fucking him over. Dave didn't fuck him over. Dave, Dave quit the show him. and didn't Dave tell took anybody care of himself. You know, all the shit that was coming down on Dave. Because that's who it was coming down on. It wasn't coming down on your brother. What was coming down on Dave? What was coming down on Dave? All the pressure of the fucking show. What? All of the pressure of the show. We can sit here sit around and have and we can act sketches. like we don't know what the fuck is going on. But okay, what's the, what was the real pressure? Shit. The pressure was the skits, um, the um, uncomfortability Dave was having with some of the skits that the execs was trying to change up there. They trying to take control over the show. Dave just was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm that's not what happened. That's not what happened. That's bullshit. Dave's, that's what Dave said happened. Okay, well, Dave's a liar. Okay, and your brother's a fucking uh, truth teller. Your brother's a dick rider. I'm not. Your I'm not getting. a dick rider, and he, <laughs> he rolled the right dick to help him cash out. And how he going to flip on him to the fucking media after Dave decided he had enough of comedy. He didn't sense. flip on him to the media. He said he didn't. He did. Ah, oh, we don't know what's going on with Dave. Dave he didn't know what was going on. He didn't uh, know what was going on. This is your best friend. Who? Suppo Dave is supposedly your best friend. They weren't best friends. Come on. 
Yo, my nigga, okay, well, Neil was Dave's little puppy. Everywhere Dave was, Neil wasn't that Neil was his guy. caddy. Neil was his caddy. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You're, you're, you could be his caddy, his puppy, whatever, dog. But he helped me. He helped, he helped Chappelle Dave pick out the right club. Yo, bro, your brother was making bank. If it wasn't for Dave, your brother would not have been that successful. Oh, no, I, I, don't I, I don't have a problem Dave with that. Your brother over. Cause he, he your first. Bro, Dave made your brother popular, dog. Okay, that that being. The fuck didn't know who the fuck Neil Brown Okay, but was. but Chappelle, the thing was when they were when they were buying time. First of all, even when Chappelle went to Africa, the head of Comedy Central that's when, said that's when Neil was really on his shit. What the fuck? Why would Neil take the show? And do lost episodes without Dave's consent. Because he otherwise Why? they they, they were contracted. For, for attention. No, because he was he wasn't gonna get paid otherwise. Oh man, that yo, you already got that paid. Is it, first of all, no nobody would say no, no he has an agent. He has stay loyal, my nigga. Oh my stay god. Stay loyal. That's why you black Dave people put never you in get this ahead in life. Ride right out with him. First of all, first of all, his agent would have all they had to do was make a third season. Neil get Neil gets paid, and then they, and so his agent's not going to be like stay loyal. He's going to be like make the third season, to come out with the third season. The point was, even after Chappelle, uh, even after the uh, uh, Chappelle went put Comedy Central through all this bullshit. Wow. Uh, Comedy Central That's said, so crazy "Let me finish. Let me finish." Dog. They You're said, "You're a comic." Even if crazy to hear you say that shit. after Chappelle put Comedy Central through all this shit, Comedy Central well, Comedy Central didn't put Chappelle through the shit. Um, are Dave you gonna put Comedy Central through the shit? Get the fuck out of here, Kev. You sound crazy right okay, now. Okay, right, and you sound normal. Okay, so Comedy Central, even after Comedy, even after Chappelle, you know I'm you're a miserable old white man, dog. Oh That's what you are, dog. And for you to be shitting on Chappelle like that right now, it really goes to show who you are in this business, my nigga. We're not, I'm not going to sit here and let you do that today. Okay, go for a walk. No, nah, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to defend Dave because Dave got- <laughs> You don't even know what happened. You don't even know what happened. What are you talking about? Yo, Kev, just because your brother was just fucking funky doesn't mean I'm not in the loop. <laughs> Dave's one of my best friends, my nigga. Oh my what are you talking about? Okay, well, my point is, Chappelle made it seem like uh, Comedy Central was sweating them because they had to get these, these, this third season out. Chappelle could have told them, we need more time. And like Gavin said, they could have bought sketches. They could have, like, they could have solicited ideas from people because they were, you they were, Dave let me doing. finish. They said they were, they were stuck. They were, they were, they had writer's block. They, the second season was hot. They didn't know how to do a third season. They, they didn't, they, it was like when the Sopranos would go, we need more time. They would have given them more time because Comedy Central gave them, even when Chappelle did all the bullshit that he did, let me finish. Even when Chappelle did all the bullshit, Comedy Central says, says, still said, we'll take him back whenever he's ready. So Chappelle was like, oh, they're sweating me for, they need the third season to start when the, when the DVDs are coming out. He could have told them, I need more time. And they would have given it to him because they, he was their hot fucking product at the time. So Chappelle made it seem like, you know, he didn't want to be stabbing black people in the back and all this bullshit. But he could have just told him, I need more time. And it would have worked out fine. But he was like, he made a big fucking deal out of it. And then he went to Africa. Yo, Kev, that's inaccurate, and I hate the fact that you're sitting here telling me. That's what that's that's what you think. That's because you have your version of what know, happened, bro. huh? It's what I know, bro. Okay, it's what I know too. I was right there. I was living in Neil's apartment at the time. I right. Back in better times. <laughs> so the defense is that Comedy Central was ruining Chappelle's sketches by adding they, too many notes. They wanted to take creative control over the show. And that's a total lie. It's bullshit. Okay. That's a total lie. That's that's a hundred percent. Why would they? They had no control over the first two seasons. Exactly. So that was his problem. What now, y'all motherfuckers? No, he's making this up. He's making this up. Hey, yo, Kev, stop that, brother. No, he didn't. He he was he got he got uncomfortable with making fun of black people in in the second in the first and second season. He was like he wasn't totally comfortable doing that anymore because it was like he was getting rich off the off off of black people problems and making fun of black people and and he was he rent he resented the he fact feel that some kind of way about that i'm not and he did and he when he that. saw neil's apartment on 50 uh, a street he had a problem he's like i'm making white people rich 
off of making fun of black people. He saw when Bill Burr got an HBO uh, half hour, he, he had a problem with that. He had a problem with like white people benefiting off of him making fun of black people. That's what it came down to. So instead of just going like, let's chill, let's try to figure this out. He's like, I'm going to Africa because he just he, he didn't know what else to do. So he just broke the whole fucking thing. And in the meantime, he could have been like cool and and just been like, okay, let's try to figure out a solution. Because my point is, Comedy Central would have done. They would have sucked his dick if he said suck my dick. Because at that point, they were like, whatever you want, Dave, whatever you want. Because that's what I'm saying. Even after all this shit, they still were gonna take him back, Gavin. How was he making fun of black people? The Klansman thing, the the black. All of that. Klansman? All like the the even 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 the Charlie people. Murphy stuff. You know, it was like it, that, that Prince. What's that's got I don't know. To do with black people. You gotta ask him. But that's what it was. He had a problem with making fun of getting white people rich. And, and my point is never if, if if I mean to walk away from that kind of money at Comedy Central. It's like you know he said like he didn't he he just felt I think bad. he was scared of success. I think you see this with a lot of people. They get scared of. I remember my dad saying this when so, when I was a kid. Someone gets an A and they get scared of the A. Like they don't. I don't know what to do. And now I'm an A student. I think he was. Think a, he was overwhelmed by his own success. No, I think he. he I think he was like how we. He knew they weren't going to be able to top the second season. So that that's was fear of success. Yeah. Well, that's he he the second season was so hot. That he basically they paint himself in the corner, and even even when Neil showed me, he, Neil showed me I think the the second season before it even came out, or he showed me something. I go well, I, I even I said to him then like you guys should like get people to help you write sketches because at some point you're going to be tapped out, you yeah. know. So all the ideas you have, and then other people came up with ideas, and then they hired people to help them the third season, but then it it just wasn't enough, and he I think he was overwhelmed. I think he was overwhelmed with the like success because he couldn't he couldn't go on the street. Everyone you know it was like it was that thing where if he was on the streets of Manhattan, people were like yelling, screaming his name, and because he would be at Neil's house, and I would and he would like he would have to wait till it got dark out, then he would like cross the street and park underground, and it was all like hiding, and I think he just it was just too overwhelming to him. Well, that that it neglects the the careers of hundreds of other people involved in the show. It's not all about you. Yeah, well, I remember Jerry Seinfeld said that about uh, the Tonight Show. I think it was maybe it was even Chappelle or, or maybe it was uh, Kevin Hart. I can't remember who it was, but he said, "Would you take this show?" No, it was Chris Rock. Seinfeld said to Chris Rock, "Would you take the Tonight Show?" And and Chris Rock goes, "Fuck that! I'm not sitting in a makeup chair every night of my life. No way." Yeah. And Seinfeld goes, "Me neither." But can you imagine our fathers saying that? Like that generation would just go, all right, I'm host of the Tonight Show. Got to get yeah. to work. Got to right. put on makeup right. every day. I'll right. take ten jobs, whatever you got. Right. And then as you know, we get more affluent. We go, ah, this is uncomfortable. I have to park somewhere weird. Yeah. I'm going to Africa. Yeah. Where I can be invisible. <laughs> well, this guy. I, I mean, you have your version. I have my version. So it, I don't think you they know. necessarily contradict each other. I mean, it's like, first of all, it's like, it's like this, like if you have, like if I have a really good show somewhere, if I really kill, I know the next show is going to be a letdown because it's not going to be as good as the last show. So, so I, I mentally, I'm prepared for that. So when Chappelle, when the show got that hot, I thought, I think it just became, because I, they were, they, I remember at one point they were flying to like Bermuda in a, in a private jet and Neil said, we're going to, I said, for what? He goes to write. Cause they just, they were trying to figure out how to, how to come up with these to come up with new shit that was fresh. And then, and then I think they, I think uh, even Neil would say, we got this or we got that. And it would, to me, it seemed like a little bit like they were playing off a lot the second season. Okay. So then, then it was like, and I think Chappelle didn't want to keep like going to the same source for comedy, even though that's what everybody does. I mean, when the Sopranos became popular, you just keep killing uh, Italian people. You know what I mean? Because that's what the DC had one song. Yeah, so that's what doing it. So it's hard because creatively you want to keep pushing the envelope, but then in reality, the people want what they 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 fall in love with what they fall in love with of your show, and then you kind of have to keep delivering it. You know, if the execs took over a sketch and ruined it, I would understand wanting to quit. Because you're watching your bits get raped. That didn't. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. They might have done it. They might have done it. Brother, but Dave ain't gonna lie. Dave. They, yeah, but he's gonna paint. He's gonna he's paint so. his picture of what happened. And, and, and when he left, when he left yo, after the third. Your brother's picture is gonna be the picture that's gonna be painted. Not the mother. I don't even talk to Neil. I don't rich. even talk to Neil. Once it went down, I I didn't even. I just knew what would happen. Hey, listen, bro, you right. The point man. is, the Dave, point is, it was all Dave's fault. You're right, brother. No, the point is, it, when Chappelle went to Africa and they put out season three, they probably did change the sketches 
but uh, he wasn't there to, to defend himself. And Neil was like, I no, just want my fucking no. paycheck. And I, and I just That's when Donnell that stepped in, too. They, you, Donnell went through it, too. Donnell went through it, too. They all felt the lash of that. They felt some kind of way that they went on without him when this was his show. Because he went to Africa. No doubt. My if I, if I, if I, yo, bro. If, if I move to Africa. Kevin, I'm going to just say this. Real shit. If we were to get fired here tomorrow, Kumio was to offer me a job here, I'm not taking that job. The captain of the ship left, bro. I'm going with him. Because we, we're the flavor. Okay, first of all. I'm with you. Okay. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been here. Okay, but we're not talking about that kind of money that they're talking oh, come about. On, man. And also, if I if I if, if I leave my kids, if I go to move to Ireland and then somebody else moves in with my family, I can't be like, "Oh, what the fuck do you what are you telling my kids to, to eat this kind of food?" I left. If you leave, it's you, you can't be mad that they fucking fucked with your product. Niggas knew why the brother left though, man. Okay, nobody knows. Anyway, I wish they did the that. E, what's that show they used to do behind the music? They need to do one of those behind the music. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Show. I thought that was sweet what Jimmy said, though, that he wouldn't take the job. It was. You're not acknowledging that. Oh, so you wouldn't. Because you wouldn't... this nigga is a fucking Seth Lord. I think it's sweet. He's a fucking Seth Lord, and I don't expect <laughs> nothing from Good him Lord. but the dark side. He's saying, <laughs> he's saying you look like Darth Vader's boss. Oh, I'm saying he is Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm the nicest guy around. Everybody hates me. I don't even know. Yeah, that's people, true, people who don't I even know, I, people that. I that's don't true. even remember meeting now. Now that I'm pop, I'm not. Big, I'm a uh, cult. You're popular. I'm a cult podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, oh, now everybody has an opinion about me. But people are like, oh, you know this guy? I go, no, I never met him. He goes, he hates your fucking guts. I go, yeah, but I you'd even... be unhappy if everyone liked you, wouldn't yeah, you? I, I don't feel hated. like that's what you oh. want. <laughs> Great. I love hate. All right, Gavin, if you have to leave, you can leave. Okay, thanks. Oh, but sir, I'm not yeah, dismissing you in any way, shape, or form. But thank you for, uh, uh, I appreciate it because... The point is that it was. I, I like to. Uh, I like to disseminate things if I can. And you're the only guy who ever said to me like, "I didn't like Neil's thing," or at least you had like an original Neil's, look at Neil's it. Neil's special is interesting in that I've never seen anything like it. But it is torture. It's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> and that's original, I guess. <laughs> a third of it is like getting fucked by your dad. <laughs> that's never been done. <laughs> On stage. It is hard to keep it fresh, though. All right, thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me. All right, my pleasure. You all right. Jimmy, want to stay there? Send Voss in, Gavin, if he if he wants to come in. Anyway, Jimmy, uh, uh, it's like you 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 hang out with Chappelle, so Chappelle's gonna. Oh, I used to live with Chappelle, so it's. What like, do you mean live with him? You mean live with him? My freshman year in fucking NYU, I lived with Chappelle. And Union Square, bro. Like, but that was before. I just don't. I just don't want to sit here and and let you tell your white lies, bro, to your white audience. That you know, Chappelle is this crazy nigga that just ran off to Africa, blah, 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 blah. And your brother's this white saint that saved the Chappelle. Who said that? Show. Who said I was this white saint? Like you, the the picture you're painting. I'm not jacking that shit, homie. I'm not jacking that shit. We don't say white anymore. We say superior. <laughs> Who said he was a white saint? I never said that. All right. I, I, right so I, tell I, what happened. Just, listen, man. You talk about I, Kevin I, Hart? I, yeah, we could talk about the Kevin Hart shit. Did he listen, call you? He's supposed nah, to call you at 2.30. He never called. It's 3.35. He never called. 2.30. You know? right. So I, I already, I'm already thinking that's a doobie. But um, You didn't really expect him to call, did you? Uh, you know what? No, he's here at working. He's busy. You know. Can you I mean? talk about what happened? I, then, then that shit too. But nah, we 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 fixed that. We we Gucci. We better now. We better now. But he's mad about. He was mad about something you said on Facebook or something yeah. you said on social media. It was a little enough of a, is enough rants. I used to like how we kind of connect. Oh yeah, it was something in one of those joints that I went off. It wasn't really about him. It was just somebody in his camp, and uh, a comic or just a, no, a just guy. A, a person that was in his camp, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I, a friend of mine who's a sports agent, uh, his name is Mike Roberts, um, called me a couple of years back to set up a meet and greet with Kev and one of the princes of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and one of the dudes... True story. 
It's on my son, my nigga. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm making a on? joke because usually you don't. Um, anyway, the Saud Prince so, of Saudi Arabia <laughs> man. Wanna, it was to a comedy story. Princes, and uh, this was the dude that actually gave Mark Wahlberg money to start off Entourage. So I'm trying to make the connection, Kev. So Kev don't have to invest his own money in any projects. Nevertheless, the motherfucker that I was up in Boston with. Some some guy named Dennis, whatever, come to find out that he charged the Prince of Saudi Arabia thirty fucking thousand dollars to meet Kevin Hart that night through me. And there were people that came down with the meet and greet with Kev that um some one of the guys owned Biju up there. It's a club, a very popular club. And he was like, shit. He's char yeah, he charged, how many people did he charge for 30 grand to fucking meet Kevin Hart? And I'm thinking, like, I, I, I thought nothing of it. Like, it couldn't have been nothing with me and nothing like that. Next day, one of Kevin's associates called me and was like, yo, really, my nigga? 30,000? That's how you giving it up? And I'm lost. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I me too. Like, I'm lost too. I, I don't know. I felt like he was trying to say that I was sneak thieving from Kev. Instead of me going telling Kev straight up, yo, he's trying to meet you for 30000 okay? And I get some sort of PC off that. I was totally in the blind. But this associate was running around saying I robbed or I took 30000 from the prince. I looked at that shit as sneak thieving and you, you assassinated my character. Of who I am. Now, if you said Jim went up to you and fucking arm robbed you face to face, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dispute that at all. Okay? That that's that I would rather that than you telling me. So bottom was line, what it was fucking, bottom line, what it what happened. so well who well, I, I I I I let the the individual know next time I see you, I'm gonna take your fucking kofi off. And I just started bombing on a nigga on Facebook and everybody in the community and that on that scene knew who I was talking about and Kev felt some kind of way that I didn't go through him to fix or to, 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 for him to holler at one of the people that's on his staff. Okay. Well, he felt like I went over his head and went right into the situation. I have not he, he, he thought that was disrespectful. And I, I can kind of get it because this is somebody that's in your team. And it's not like when I say something, it goes out one ear through people's others. Niggas kind of listen to me. Okay. And it kind of made, it, it, it made them feel got some tweets this week. Some guys don't like Jimmy. So now might be a good time. To, <laughs> one guy, Eddie Venom. That's his name on Twitter. Eddie Venom. He says, Jimmy is the worst. At least Lenny bombing on Norton's podcast it was amusing. Then another guy, Jack Mahoff. Jack me off. <laughs> so dumb, I didn't even get it. Jack me off, he goes, enough with Jimmy Martinez. He ruins your podcast every time he's on. For fuck's sake, is he blackmailing you or something? So I'm just giving them their, their uh, since you had a long filibuster there. Anyway, the point, <laughs> the point is, the point is. People talk about you, nigga, and they don't like your bitch ass. People don't like me, wanna, right, boss? Why you want to focus? Why you always, this is what I'm noticing about you with your whole shit. Why are you always trying to assassinate my character and trying to make me not like I'm not that nigga? No, I'm just saying there's... Yo, Kev, you on your bitch-made shit, and I'm watching you. Why don't you read tweets about your bitch-assness? People hate me. I know yeah, that. Yeah, nigga, so let your audience know about how they hate you. I said these whack-ass motherfuckers... I'm just saying I have to give them equal time because... Yo, yo, my nigga... Because when they hear you... When they... Ball, man. But when, they when they do a, when you do a long filibuster, the fans are probably like, holy shit, he won't shut the fuck up. So I'm now I'm giving them... Yo, nigga, I'm giving them a shout-out to... They go listen to the show regardless. Sometimes people want to hear their name talk. Hey, they call it out. Sometimes people want to hear, hey, I got kids, I got kids, I got kids. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Kevin. No, I'm Twitter sometimes, right, Voss? Sometimes they just want to be acknowledged, right? I'm sorry you uh, had to even come into the middle of this, Rich. This is some well, bullshit. I, I wasn't scheduled. Uh, <laughs> so, and so I polite. can't tell. I don't. Well, here's the thing, because I don't know where you guys are at. I mean, I know. Uh, Twitter, if you take these, first of all, if they're not negative on Twitter, then they're not on fucking Facts. Twitter. 
Facts. Uh, that's, that's, that's how they get attention, too. Yes, and Why I'm at the point them where that? I just block just, them. Just because it's funny to me, and then, then they uh, can't go like that. Then sometimes they're like children. If you give them a little attention, then they're fine. So I'm giving these, so, that, so they'll shut the job, fuck bro. up already. And another thing is. They go always, nigga, they go. First of all, bro, look where we at. A lot of these followers are racist, my nigga. Okay. Okay? Look right. where we at. All right. I don't expect these motherfuckers to like me. Okay, that Think being said. You like a black man for real, dog? That being said, that being said, here, that being said, Monday, Monday's not an easy. First of all, everyone has a podcast, right? How many podcasts do you have, Rich? Well, I got one, but we've done 300 episodes. Okay, the point is everyone has a podcast. So people are like, who, get somebody else on the show. I'm like, there ain't that many people. Like there's like there's how many people how many people are good on podcasts? Not that many. I, and then you can't have the same. I can't have Dan Soder can't be on every fucking podcast. I get I get calls and emails to do podcasts non fucking stop. You and know. you don't want to do them? No, because it, one, it's I don't know how many they might have fucking ten followers. I don't fucking right. know if it's if it's you know here or, or or radio. I didn't know you were on now. If I knew you were on now, I would I was killing time. I would have came in earlier. You know what right, I mean? I didn't. Right. Know. But you get a fucking thousand of, oh, you're coming to Vancouver. Come do my pocket. And the only way I'll do it, if I do do it, is if they come to me at the club, after the show, I'll give them an hour or something. But even, even I'm saying, like, people are like, oh, you know, we don't like Jimmy or we don't like Lanny or we don't like anybody. It's like they're going to they're gonna not like them. But I'm like, who you, who do you want me to replace them with? Like, I bring, Jimmy said last week, he goes, you're bringing in motherfuckers to, to replace me. And I'm, and I'm basically just bringing people in to see how they are on a fucking podcast. Because a lot of times, comics, they uh, got nothing to say. They, they live, they, they, they hide behind their act. You know what I mean? They use yeah. their act like, oh, it's my act. So you bring them on a show, and they don't really talk because they don't want to fucking say anything to get them in trouble. Well, so in the, in the meantime, they're fucking boring. Without listening or knowing what's going on, from my point of view, he's perfect for this because you guys are opposite, and you guys Yo, compliment each other. I'm trying to sell that nigga on that shit. I well, want, I mean, it's this just is no white opinion. person show. Make it that. that Make it no, no fucking, no conflict, no, no, no nothing. Make it a regular. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm, show, I'm saying, I'm saying, I don't want to fight these. Listen to your fucking audience. Listen I'm saying, I don't want to fight these Twitter. guys on Twitter. I don't want to fight these guys on Twitter. So in, in lieu of that, I give them a shout out. I don't give out. a fuck. They don't pay your bills, really, Kev? Okay, relax, relax. The no, I'm being, a, I'm, I'm just keeping the stack with you. Okay, the they point. Don't really give a fuck. Okay, you Do they I, really I, you matter to here. You, you can't, you can't just life. fucking. You, you gotta let the guests talk. My point is, oh. sometimes if you, on Twitter, if you just give them a shout out, then they're like, "Oh, thanks for oh, giving me a oh, shout you know out." What? Why don't you just oh. give them a shout out without trying to assassinate my character with your bitch ass? So you Why know what you you they're saying that? anyway. You know what they're saying anyway. Yeah, man. Well, well, my point is, my point is, who's good on who's good on podcast? Right, you're 100. Who's it's good? The same thing with who's good on radio. It's right. Like, who's good? They come in, they come in, they do their fucking sets. They do. You know, look at I've been doing, and you too. When you go on, I've been doing fucking radio for 25, 30 years, and it's the same as like doing a podcast. Only podcast, you get to say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So who's good? I, you know, Bobby's good. Uh, Colin, yeah, Bobby's no, Bobby's yeah. good. Bobby's got his own show. Yeah, so I'm saying he's not gonna. He's not gonna. First of all, the guys that are good, they have their own show, yes. and also, and Lou, and you know, if you have a show, it's you can't really get people. So the reason I have Jimmy on because we already have like a natural fucking uh, negative chemistry. <laughs> so the fans will be like, oh, you know, he's an asshole. I'm like, yeah, but that's why he's on the show. Because if I have a sh if I have a, a co-host that we just get along harmoniously all every fucking week, then people are going to be like, okay, you guys, and I learned from my other show, Misery Loves Company, that the, that the more fucking shit that's going on, the, the, the numbers go up. So people people can say they want a nice fucking quiet show, but they don't. They, they, want, they, they want controversy and conflict, you know? So I'm, just, I'm, just saying to the, I'm just saying to the fans, like, I hear you, but until you give me a better fucking alternative... You know, like like oh, uh, ha get Hannibal Burris in here. Okay, he's not available. He's not available. Another thing, uh, most co a lot of people don't live in New York. A lot of people live in L.A., and and then they're all played out too. Anybody who's good on podcasts is played out. Even my wife, she goes, Dan fucking Soder. Even she hates him. <laughs> she, she was watching that show Billions. She goes, I can't even watch it because Dan Soder is so annoying. And then she only knows it from he's he's always on everybody's show, you know. Uh -huh. And he's so liked that she's like, fuck him.
<laughs> so that's basically it. Who's good? You're good. Uh, Norton's good, but Norton's been on fucking radio. Uh, Opie and Anthony were good. Uh, Patrice was good. Yeah. Geraldo was good. Some of them are fucking dead, you know? Uh, and then other guys who are, like, famous. Chappelle, we had Michael Che on. I love Michael Che, but he has nothing to gain by being a dick on the fucking radio. You know what I mean? Or on a podcast. But I, you know, I'm trying to get him to fucking slam no uh, Lauren. He's not going to slam Lauren. He's not going to slam anybody because what does he has to gain? He has nothing to gain. It was the same when Tough Crowd was on. So many people backed away because it was too political, and they're you know they don't want to, you know they want to be neutral. Right. They don't want to lose right. their fan base. Right. Mm. It's a skirt. Uh, Reed, I thought you knew it. She's from oh. she's from New Jersey. Have we met? Are you a comic? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say skirt. Yeah, and what do you want to say? Do you have anything to say? I mean, I do. I it's hard to get a word in edgewise, but I like the con I like the conflict. I like the conflict. I yeah, do. Yeah, she Except likes the conflict. Both of you go on too long. It's not just Jimmy has these. Uh, what do you call it? Filibuster. You do too. Like. We had to talk about Neil's special again. I listened to the show, so like we could have done yeah, without that. No, but uh, but but Gavin was here. He brought it up. What so special? the Jeff Martyr one. Yeah, two uh, mics, but he yeah. calls it three mics. Oh, don't, don't bring it up. Don't. No, bring but anyway, and again, anyone who's been around for a while knows that it's not original. But it's like it's original because it's not. I didn't mean to bring it up again. No, it's not a. First of all, people used to say when I did the show with Lenny, they go, okay, what do you want to talk about? I'm like, what do you want to talk about? So there's only so many things you can talk about. You can't talk about politics. So you talk about shit that we all have a well, vested interest in or at least an opinion on. Uh -uh. Listen, we, me and Bonnie do our fucking podcast from our dining room. And I think that would be torture. 300 of them <laughs> with, I, with no guests. So it ends up in a fight or it ends up, if luckily we find someone we, we both don't like. Well, you can't even it, name a name, right? Once in a while we can name a name once in a while we don't now we decided that we're just going to uh you know try to sell shows to networks through our podcast we're going to pitch every do you week. guys get bored do you get bored yes. doing it well we do it once <laughs> a week we do it once a week of course she hates it she hates it because you, you guys know, live together and, yeah. you know, and so you can only talk like if i did a show with my wife i'd be like yes. you can only talk about so many things before your wife gets mad at you oh, yeah it guarantees, I mean, if, if we go out to dinner she's going to get mad at me because i'm going to say something like inappropriate i'm going to look at at the waiter for too long because i don't even look at the waitress i just stare at the waiter because <laughs> then she'll be like are you gay i'm like whatever <laughs> I, can't, I can't be caught looking at somebody for longer than five seconds well, i get mad she says i get mad with everybody like waitresses or wait especially waitresses when they use that voice like i'm six years old just talk to me normal and she goes well you never had a real job you don't understand i go i do understand he says that yeah to me i never had a real you know and i have had real not oh. i never worked in a fucking restaurant or yeah. anything. I always some kind of scam but i always <laughs> had my own thing going on yeah. but you know we're two we're two so opposite of each other but the hatred of you know, listening to comics on radio or who's getting stuff, that brings us together. Our <laughs> hatred. That's a bonding. The point is, it's a, there's only so much to go around. It's like, it's not L.A. where you have this, like, massive pool of people. Like, because I see, you know, like, if Mark Maron or wh whatever these guys, they get all these, they, they have actresses yeah. and just people. There's more show business people out here. You know, people think there's a lot going on here, but there's not that many people. And again, we even the guests that you have, like I remember we got Michelle Wolf on, and you know, like she, she, she was like she was she was on her phone the whole time. And Lenny, Lenny and uh, Liz were like, "Oh, we go, oh great, that's gonna be great." I'm like, I knew it wasn't gonna be great. And then she was fucking horrible. Even the fans were like, she was terrible because she's she has nothing to say because she she lives through her act, you know. Yeah. So anybody that lives through her act. And then I asked Keith to come on, and Keith is like, I'm not ready yet. I'm like, you know what I mean? So it's like, I thought Keith would be good too, but he's not, he don't want to go on because of his health issues. Yeah. So it's like, there's the pool of people to come on is not that great, you know? Not and then the younger guys, I don't know who they are. And, and even when I have the younger guys on, they, they don't have, they, you know, they, they don't have that much to say either because nothing's happened to them. And they still want to play ball because they think if they're if they're perceived as like a good guy, like I can shit on people because I'm never going to get hired by anybody. <laughs> and I'm confident about that. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm basically been assured by my by my people that no one's ever going to hire me. At least you have people. Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I, don't I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. Okay, so what do you have to say? What do you, what do you want to talk about? You said don't I, talk about three mics. What should we talk about? No, I mean, you can you just talk about it all the time. I just thought I don't at all. I've heard it on the, it's been brought up on the show before. Millions of, Jimmy, hasn't it been brought up before? It's a fact. It's a fact, thank you. Where are you from? 
uh, what part of Jersey? Jersey, India. Berkeley Heights. Fuck oh, they, off. It's fucking money. Where? Go for some money. No, I mean, her husband, husband works makes a lot of money. Uh huh. What's he do? He works for Pfizer. Fucking. Uh, yeah. which, Wait, you, you need Viagra? To, of course I do. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I swear to God, when I take fucking, if my wife, if we say we're having sex, and then I take a fucking Viagra and she backs out. You know, that shit costs fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can back get it for down. free. Well, sometimes he goes, now I'm tired. You know, because we... Well, how's long, how long does it take to kick in? <laughs> An hour. But here's oh. the thing. We watch a movie, then have our snack, whatever, and then we fuck. And, and, and then she, go back wait, to the she, movie. She, you, you take it? Competitor yeah. drug kicks in faster. I forgot. But, oh, yeah. Oh, uh... Yeah. Alice? The yellow one. Alexis. Alice. The Alice. Alice. Yeah. I get, the Alice. Well, you want me to tell you to scam a fucking Viagra? Here's the fucking scam. Yo, that, that boss good. Rhino crazy, though. That's the shit in the hood. Hey, it's Rich, when you come boss after you take Rhino. Viagra, does your dick your dick still stays hard then? Well, look who I'm fucking. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> no, but does it? it but it's, no, no, if I wanted to, not really. Not really, but I'd probably like there's another one. Does your get. husband take it? Levitra? Uh, wait, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he do. Yeah, he does. He does. He all has. the time? No, not all the time. Not all the time. That's, that's Thank celebration. You, Jimmy. Jimmy's goes down, down after he comes, or is it still I don't hard? pay attention what happens after he comes. Well, I'm out. Fucking Viagra when. And he fucks you better when he's on Viagra? I don't mind it. No. That's good. Elton shit. When yeah. the, it's free, too. It, it for should us. be $10 a pill. It's $53 a pill now. Yeah, we and get it insurance free. hasn't come. Why? Why? Because Viagra is smart. What's one of the I thought reasons. they had a competitor. They have no, competitors. They have a couple of them, but they're losing their patent, I think, this yeah, year. Yeah, they are. They're losing oh, so their they, they jack up the price? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and that yes. makes sense. Yes. And now and every bootleg you fucking. You know a lot about this. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a fucking. Can't you get them? Like, can't you go to Canada to get a, uh, online? You buy them? I, you don't know what you're getting? I would never buy shit online because I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, I go to my when I go to my doctor for whatever, I go, do you have samples of this or that? He always gives me samples of... One time, this fucking guy, he gave me a sample one time, but he billed it to the insurance company, and on my record it said sexual dysfunction. <laughs> All I wanted was a fucking sample, and now I'm fucking sexual dysfunction. Yeah, yeah it's called well, being be funny. It'd be funny, like, if, uh, you know, your insurance company goes, did you really need this? And then you take a picture of your wife, and they go, yeah, he needed That's it. That's how she said that. <laughs> when, I, when I went to the Not that Bonnie is, I'm saying, but yeah. if your wife's a hog, and, you know. Oh, but when you go to the store, and, like, when they said $53 in insurance, who's going to pay? Fifty-three fucking dollars. Yeah. Get laid. Yeah. I mean, people pay a lot more than fifty-three dollars well, to get laid. Yeah, through a hooker so, or whatever. So it's like this: like if uh, if you take it, and then if you don't take it, your dick like doesn't work at all. Then no, I got to get real excited like for my dick to work. You've never taken anything. Why would I take it? If my dick don't work, it's God's way of saying I don't want you to get laid tonight. <laughs> oh, it's so my dick don't work sometimes at the at the end. Like if if it's if I'm tired, if I've been working, I come home. My and but it, we did, you don't even because my wife's out when I come home. But in the in the old days, like if I was tired, and then she'd be like, oh, you know, your dick is like. But my dick always works, you know. I mean, I'm saying eventually it'll work. I mean, it eventually might take sometimes it takes. But I'm saying like if you get high. And then, and then, like, and then the next time you try to get high, does it, you know, and not even, not, not only that, it's just, it's not a good analogy. The point is, like, if you take it, your dick is like, well, I, you doesn't, dick it doesn't to, need it. Doesn't always Your dick need start it. to need it. No, no, no I, no, I, no, I, 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 sometimes, you know, I'm fucking old, so it depends. It's sometimes if I get real excited. You wake up with a heart on? Uh, I guess half the time. Half the time. That, that means there's no problems. Is that what it means? Yeah. yeah. If you can wake up with a heart on, that means I wake up with a heart on, like almost. Yeah. You can get me some pills. You said. I mean, I might be able to get you some samples. Can you? Yeah. You want to? I'll get you to open for me. <laughs> no, he will. He I will. I'm not gonna do that though. No, but I'll just get you open. I'll Wait. Just... So seriously, the, the you and Bonnie we doing a podcast every every? I mean, do you guys ever go into it like we got nothing today? We have nothing to talk Easily. about. Easily. Easily, every time. Because it's like, what? Are you, listen, you're already you talking all fighting. week. Huh? Yeah, you guys are usually fighting. She never wants to do it. She's she always like, do I it. don't want to do this. Is it over yet? Is it over Why yet? Why she not want to do it? Because <laughs> she just hates. She doesn't like giving out her Bonnie life. don't like show business anyway, right? Well, she hates. No, she likes writing. She likes creating. I mean, but to reveal. Yeah. Contrived. Big, That's yeah. why she doesn't like it, I feel. Like. It's contrived. Well, she doesn't like to put out our personal, personal information. Yeah. yeah. The public. My yeah. wife hates it, too. My wife, like, she's yeah. like, don't talk about whatever. You know, but I mean. But I was like, I was, you know, I always like exaggerate for the point of, you know, so if she says, if she like, you said, oh, you don't like to eat my pussy. I'm like, no, I'm playing a character. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just <laughs> I'm, character doesn't. I'm like pretending like, like do, do, does my persona look like he likes to eat pussy? No, <laughs> like it's just people don't buy it anyway. So I might as well sell him that. Well, I mean, you, like, eat, you 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 eating pussy out here though, right, Cap? Huh? <laughs> we eating pussy though, right? Yeah, I like to eat pussy because I can't. I I I. Long as you give him back to the community, my nigga. <laughs> okay, <guys. laughs> hey, because if I don't eat, if I don't eat, sometimes I'll be fucking my wife. This person, but sometimes I'll be fucking wife. I know I'm gonna come, so I'll stop and I'll eat her pussy. Because if I come, if I come too quick, she'll be like, "What the fuck was that?" I'm like. Oh. I, I I just know how my dick is. It's not. It's it's like it's like I know my dick like I know my act. I know what works. You, know what <laughs> you mean? gotta you gotta eat pussy first. Make sure they come no, first. But sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to eat it first. Sometimes I oh. want to get my dick wet and then I'll give it like oh that felt good and then I'll be and then and then and then I know I gotta stall. So I got to do a long set. Yo. I might get a check spot. Yo. So then I'll be like okay, let me eat some pussy. <laughs> you never you get your dick sucked so good. You, 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 you wasn't even planning on eating this bitch pussy, but she sucked your dick so good that you like, yo, I'm about to eat this pussy right here. Oh, that's sweet. Jimmy. Ever, you ever? <laughs> it is. Ever? That's sweet. Any, I, ever oh. got I don't think anyone's ever felt yeah, we've that. We've all been there. Well, I, oh, I was about to yeah. say, come Are on. Are you talking about a girl you know you just met, you mean? Yeah. yeah type shit. Yeah, like, type shit. <laughs> here's certain ways. Like, what was I the girl to... you're with the other night? Was that a new one? Hey, yo. A tall girl? Yo, my bad. <laughs> Yo, Rich. Rich, when's the last time you were with someone other than Bonnie? It's been years, right? Thirteen years. Oh, you do do you like to hear guys guys like new well, I, pussy or anything? I like, sometimes I like to hear a story. How oh, they, it's kind of fun, right? Yeah, because I'm not in the game anymore. And I used to be let me tell you, when I in the fucking eighties when I was doing comedy or whatever, girls were throwing pussy across, yeah. all over the fucking Comedy place. was new. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying I was that kind of guy, which I was, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so go ahead, Jamie. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want Voss to want to hear the story if he. If he. You don't want to hear it. That 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 ass was crazy on Shorty too, right? I she know. was tall though. No doubt, man. You know, Shorty's I'm, I'm just getting ready endearment. for the Wonder Woman movie. You know what I mean? So. Well, who was that? Was that the Somalian bitch? Ah, the Somalian bitch. I had to cut that bitch off. No more donations. No more water. No more nothing. No more dick. Do you? You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, what were you donating? Like, I don't understand. You, what do you mean what was I donating? My motherfucking time and this dick. Okay. No, but if you, it, it's like, <laughs> seriously, like down, at, especially in the Greenwich Village on on week I mean on weekend nights. It's hard to be like, oh my God, this girl dumped me. There's, there's like, even in that square block, no. there's like a hundred hot no. girls. It's unbelievable. You can't even, you can't even think like, oh, you can't, you can't even fucking go get sad like Neil gets. You just, you just snap right <laughs> out of it because you go to that fucking McDonald's on West Third Street. Even the girls that work right, the don't fucking go to counter the McDonald's. are hot. Go to Ben's Pizza. You know, do you, I don't know if you remember, but last Ben's Pizza, yeah. Uh, give him a shout out. Maybe I'll give him a free pizza. <laughs> you heard a story about Ben's Pizza? You know the pizza right at the corner? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if this is true because Louis embellishes stories, but supposedly Louis went in there because he—that's where he gets the pizza at, at his show, the beginning of his show. Supposedly, when they went, they they reckon they go, "Oh my God, you're the guy from the show!" And Louis go, "Yeah," like all like, "Yeah," <laughs> you know. They go, "Yeah, dollar fifty instead of like three dollars for the slice." They gave him half Whoa. price. So I don't know if that's <laughs> a big story. I, I don't know if that's be a better story than I don't know if that's about true. I don't know if that's true, but that's how fucking cheap these guys are. But anyway, what are you saying about Ben's Pizza? Uh, that, that's a better location. Yeah, they're all because it's like, in the McDonald's, oh, right, that's where the muffins and shit. Yeah, be at three, out four a.m. The, 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 there's so many women down there. It's like you so, gotta yeah, be crazy. You, you go outside uh, the cell, uh, the village. You would never. So, you would so never drunk and fucking walk. No, but I'm saying there. I know. But I'm saying as far as like looks wise, you know, they're hot. But the only way back in the day I could pick up girls is usually if they saw me yeah, if they saw your act yeah. yes you know i mean i'm not just gonna i mean especially when i got sober i i didn't even have coke to offer them or, yeah. or alcohol <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean i had no rap i didn't go into bars and pick up girls yeah, you my know. pickup line was are, are you a model and she go no i go yeah i didn't think so that was my <laughs> pickup line no but seriously it was like as a comic it's just so easy because they already saw your act they already think you're funny and they already got your personality yes so to just go up to a strange girl but i'm saying like there's so many hot women in new york that that who cares you know yeah, yeah i could not yeah. at this point you're probably like me you like you can't even see hooking up with somebody else because it's just a fucking bunch of headaches you know they, one and the weather i'm sorry go ahead rich one i excuse me i one i uh, i'm married i love my wife i have a family i'm gonna throw it away just to bust a nut because yeah. right after you i right, right after i come i don't want to see that person 
Ever again. Yeah, like, right. you know, here's your free CD, get the fuck out. But after, <laughs> you know what I mean? Scram. But, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit around and fucking cut. I don't cuddle with my wife. I'm not going to cuddle with a stranger. I, know. I like to cuddle, man. Huh? I like to cuddle after I nut, like bro. Don't touch I her. need I don't to feel that cuddle. validation, bro. I don't even kiss during sex. I don't even. We don't kiss. Well, I, I'm not wife. a kiss. You know? I don't like to no. kiss, period. I like when to, I my do wife's kiss, got nice lips, so I like to kiss her, but... I, I, I sporadically I do kiss and when I do kiss I know it's awesome because when I when I kiss there's a soundtrack that plays in my head all right because I learned how to kiss through Top Gun the movie wait so Voss huh Voss, hold on when when you go to kiss Bonnie did she show you away like you like she's a hooker no 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 it depends downstairs we do we don't make out you know maybe a kiss here and there I don't know. I mean, we don't. We got Can't little pet. Kiss and Bonnie. We we made out when I first met her. You know, uh, but now when you're fucking her, you she she won't like. She don't want to kiss you, or you just don't do it. No, I like. I'm not very. I'm not Mr. Foreplay. Yeah. Like I, you know. <laughs> After a while, foreplay is like a joke anyway. Yeah, it's just you know, but. It's like a chick wearing a fucking lingerie. Guys don't give a fuck about that shit. That shit don't mean nothing to us. We trying to fuck. Wear lingerie? No. I for, we do foreplay separately, each watching porn in yeah. separate rooms. Are you serious? Yeah. That's, That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Is it? Yeah. I, I like it. And then I'm like, all right, I'm ready. You don't like that? No. Nah. This way she can't see you watching gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's like yeah, that doesn't. Oh, no, it makes me marriage seem married. like a fucking nightmare, though. I'm happy. We're happy. I just don't want to have to do all the shit have, I used to know, do we anymore. Do. We have sometimes we'll put on light, por whatever's on Cinemax, or yes, whatever that Cinemax. is. That's still a, that's still a channel. Oh yeah, yeah. There's so, or whatever they have that soft, show soft time porn. at night or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so boring. But that. even it's funny porn, though, you must laugh. Even when you porn. Watch I mean, these fucking. It's just. I don't fucking know. If if she tells me a, a a good story, a dirty story, then I'll get excited. You know, tell me a story. What do you mean a dirty story? Some like when you know, she would lived in Canada. No, not that. Like you know, <laughs> the the paint. Someone came to put the fucking new floors in, and uh, you know, just give me something, something to go with. Oh, I so ran out like of like a see, pretend. Yeah, yeah. Thing that happened yeah. to her when she was when you weren't at home. Yeah, yeah. Like, or, or I was in a closet hiding or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like when you're married. I, I don't even know it. Like today, I was my wife was home, and I just want to get in a fight with her, you know. But I'm like, <laughs> it's just it's so unhealthy being in a marriage because it's a fucking it's like torture. We had fights yesterday. It was so big. Our fight we, yesterday. What did we fight about? I mean, we I'm fight an now, and we don't even we don't I don't we don't even hang on to it anymore because it's too much. It's it just you just gotta let it go. Yeah, I just, it's torture. It's torture. Like today, because even before even Mondays, like I get like I'm just I'm in a bad mood. And I know even before I do a show, I'm like, don't get in a fight with her. Just leave. Because I know if we start fighting, I'll be late for the show. But I want to fucking start a fight with her. So I'm like, is that healthy? Is that like a good situation? Oh, no, Like you're jerking off and your husband's jerking off. And I mean, no, you're but getting, then we you're... come together. But then we yeah, come but it's together. Like, then what are you coming together for? I like to watch porn. I don't want to be disturbed when I'm watching porn. About, I just bro. like it. Why don't you put two TVs up in your weird. bedroom? We can, I do it's what I watch on my phone. The fact that they in separate rooms preparing themselves. Yeah, isn't that? It's like I a... It's like... It's like I mean, porn. It's like yeah. that's really what they do in porn. Dick in your mouth. You guys didn't understand. You know, what I'm I mean, eventually like, that happens, but why yeah, can't I start off That's what they do myself. in porn. They have fluffers and they have why people fucking. Why can't I start fucking, off by myself yeah, but, with my own fantasy yeah. that doesn't involve him, and then bring Who's him? Does it involve it? Jimmy? No, but like a who? Black porn. dick? Does it involve black dick? Not usually. I'll be are you? Honest. Are you? What, what's Married your? to a white guy. What's your background? Uh, oh, Indian. Indian. Okay. I can't even. Why are you laughing? Because I'm married to a white guy. At least she doesn't have to fucking pull the skin down. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, Rich, you should. <laughs> okay. No, fucking. Have to do that shit. That's extra. It, it makes it seem like it's like porn where you just like you're in separate corners and then you just. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I didn't just like. We're. F I, I'm sorry you don't approve. I don't we're just I'm not. Okay not yeah, we don't got to approve it. Just, I know. I, we're I good. We have a very. I'm we fuck regular, like four man. to five times a week. Get the fuck out yes, of here. How, and we've been married 12 how long years. You fuck four times a week. Yes. What's yeah, but he's got you? Viagra. He's a Viagra salesman. That's what. That's what it is. He's not a salesman. He's like upper. I don't give a fuck. Oh, wow. still, you're all salesmen. Oh, what was wow. he? Is he inventing it? No. Yeah. He's a salesman. Yes, he Who fucks is. four times a week after twelve years. I'm, I went through a resurgence when I hit forty, like a re. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that happens. Revenge. 
Yeah, because you're in your before menopause. Yeah, exactly. I got to get it in. No, it's nature's way of going, like, if you're going to do it, do it now. I mean, kids are good. That's why women get horny when they're before menopause. I have one. Yeah, but menopause doesn't happen until your 50s. No, it happens different it happen ages. Different it happened 45, but it's like, that's why women, that's why older women want to fuck younger guys because they're, they're, they're in the same. I wouldn't want to fuck a younger guy. Yeah, yes, you would. If they're in the oh. same fucking zone where they're like, they want to fuck, fuck, fuck because older women want to fuck before Jesus takes away their ability to have children. <laughs> and hollows them out. Yeah, and dries them all out. That. I can't wait for that shit. Not enough spit on the planet uh, to fuck. Because my wife, I shouldn't say this, but my wife's like, she's like mid 40s. So Pretty I think positive. she's getting like, she's getting like, uh, she's her periods are like uh, inconsistent and, you know. And she'd, go like, right, all right. and she'd be like, it, it, like she just had one, then two weeks later she has another one. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Because I think she's like shooing my wife. She's like, no, I'm having my period. And then, and then, uh, and I think she's saying it, but then she is. So anytime you hook up with a bitch, huh? Okay, anytime you hook up with a bitch, and she always got this excuse, I'm on my period. Bitch, I've been on a date with you four weeks this month, and you've been on your period. The fuck is really going on? Maybe she just has a cut. So what? <laughs> 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 or she just don't want to fuck. She I doesn't want to fuck you. you. That's what's that, going man. on. That's it. Yeah, she said maybe she yeah, plus, just... women will say anything, right? To get out of sex? Because yeah, women can't fuck guys they don't want to fuck. I mean, they yeah. can, but they're hookers. Well, you know isn't that, I mean? why would you want to fuck a guy? Why would you fuck a guy you don't want to fuck? Like, why would that Guys happen? fuck women they w don't want to fuck all the time because they need to get laid. And, right, and women no. don't have that. Yeah, women no. don't have that. So you make up different, women are like, they, they have to lie. They have yeah. to come well, up with different lies. I mean, we're married to you. We, you know, we're, we'll, we'll blow off sex to, you know, to watch a fucking show or a movie Bonnie so. said I did a show with Bonnie with a uh, bonfire of the vanities or whatever that's called and then uh, with soda and uh, big J and Bonnie said she's never she never says no to you that's not well no if if I say let's have it she'll do it but, but she said she'll suck your dick whenever you say oh yes. wow yeah yo you my fucking yes. hero rich <laughs> but, you know what I mean but how often do you do you use that card you can't just say I don't it, do it that never. much you know you know I, look I she'll don't want to suck it all the way or just she'll suck it for a while like a lazy married well, suck so, or? So, she she'll cheat and use her hand too a little I'm bit. saying well she suck till you come yeah if I if oh, I, yeah, I, I mean what I bitches out here that. sucking dick just to do it for recreational purposes no they suck and then you have to finish you have to fuck them to finish no no bitch like that dog once what? the dick is in your mouth bitches is there to finish the marathon no, they're not that's a fact well, oh because sometimes I can't forgot you married sometimes I can't huh? sometimes I can't come when I'm getting blown you can't it takes forever but oh, it does dude. No doubt. When fucking that doesn't take forever, but when I'm getting That's blown, because uh, you don't want you don't want to come when you're when you're getting because it's it's easier, right? Well, I don't know. It's just you know what I mean. It's, no, I can come quick either way. No, no, that's why, that's, why, saying, but, but that's why women complain about blowjobs because it takes the guy too long because a, a guy's relaxed and he doesn't, I don't yo, know. Yo, because a lot of bitches out here giving whack ass don't. I need my shit to be photogenic. I need you to be doing <laughs> wild shit. I need to see the egg white in your saliva while you suck in the side of my dick, dog. Yeah, on, going long. in and out on the side <laughs> of your jaw. That shit going to have me come like in three minutes. I know Jack and off on Twitter is going to have a heyday any, with any this one. Any regular dick suck? That, I'm, uh, you go, your jaw working out for 20, 25 minutes, dog. I need my shit explicit. Slow, sloppy head, you go get that nut quick. That's a fact. Now, and if you looking at me in my yeah, but I'm eyeballs, saying this is like this is like this is like dick slow. This is like go nut fast. You can say all you, you want, but interact. it's like the guys complain about the podcast. Like there's not that many women that can do the egg white blow job. You know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> it's like there, there. Ain't, there ain't that they many, there. and they're usually professionals. Like a, a girl can really suck a good dick is probably like sucked a lot of dick because it takes practice. No, doubt. this bitch is out here. That's what they was doing, sucking. Dick. Okay, but my point is there's not a lot that can do it. Most women. Do suck the dick traditional way not well but nah, it's still nah. good i don't know see right. you marry <laughs> kev so you've been stuck in that zone i'm telling you i'm out here dick out here dog <laughs> these bitches out here taking dick sucking to a whole nother level bro they're yeah, not. So, yeah, it's, you it's wilding, only so many things man. you can you do wilding. with a dick. What you out here telling me? These bitches ain't stepped their dick put, game they up. Tape it. Tape it and bring it to the show. <laughs> bring, it to the, bring it to the show. Don't make me bring They want my, it. They want they want Don't make me bring my laptop in here, nigga. 
They want what clips. What are you talking about, bro? Can you, can you, if Jimmy gets someone oh. sucking dick, can we show it on the air? Yeah. Don't do that. Because don't be bragging. Like, I don't see no egg white. I see a lot of yolk. Stop playing. I don't see no egg whites. Stop playing. No, bring it. Bring it. Do you have to get something written? Do you have to get a written, uh, no, like, a cool. release for him? That's funny. No. Good you see go. yolk, but I think of food when I'm getting blown. <laughs> I want to. Oh, he can oh, just. Fuck, we can just snack. put it. <laughs> Whip Jimmy, it right out and get it sucked, huh? Yeah. Hey, yo. Do we? We don't need it. You don't need permission. Right? How do you pick up girls in, in the night FCC? Clubs? Uh, you no, go to he clubs no, to pick up girls. I don't even go out no more, Rich. Because he quotes. He quotes Top Gun. He quotes like Top Gun and Willy Wonka. What I do for a a lot of fucking corny. You want to get married, Jimmy? At some point, I yeah. guess, you know, I said, well, that's what Italian used to say. You know, you're not going to get well, married. Listen, there's too much there's gonna... too much on the streets for you. you but how do you pick listen, them up on the listen, street? First of all, I'm 36 years old. OK, I'm, I'm still I'm in a place where my dick's still working. Dick still rock hard. I like how this guy's fixing the thing. The whole <laughs> I know it. The guy in here working. Old object. There's a guy in here working. We're, we're talking about hey, getting yo. our dick sucked. This guy's like this. Is this yo, a? Man, he turns around with a. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just saying. He turns around I, with his I, fucking point, dick out of his pants. I do want to get married, but right now I'm out here slinging this. Never get married. Are you, are you Who saying, you gonna, why are you gonna get married? Who are you gonna marry? When his dick yo, stops working, I think that's you, what he's bro, saying. I'm telling you, I know she out there. I know she? she out there, dog. I know <laughs> she you. out there, bro. And I, Where I'm do you live? You, I'm you got, keep playing the lotto. You got your own place or you got roommates? You got what? You got your own place or do you have roommates? Like My own joint. So you pee in the city well, or one of the boroughs, right? Want to give out the address? So, no, I'm just saying because like... So people so come by. A, people why, can come why are you by. you us off? You'll pick up a girl, take her back to your place. It's that easy. Like, I don't why know not? the first of all, First of all, I don't bring bitches back to the back cave. Uh, <laughs> always go to their crib. I need to see what they have they roommates. Like what if they have roommates? You know what I mean? If they got roommates, that's even better. I want their roommate to hear this dick in action, okay? So if they be like, you know what? Things don't work out with her. You could come over here and fix these pipes. That's a bad Nick is on deck, roommate. no doubt. I like going to other bitches' cribs. I need to know Nick is on deck. Is come on, Jack me off. You got to give him Yo, points for that one. You, you said the what? The guy on Twitter. Oh. I mean, oh, that's that's the guy Twitter. Jack me off. He said... You ever have a deck. girlfriend? Do you, you do you ever have a girlfriend? I date. I date. No, and date. no one ever sees your place. You said no I one mean, ever comes. At some point, at yeah. Some, guys, gotta, guys gotta, at that age in the city, they don't have girlfriends, right? Like black guys and and just Hispanic guys, they don't have. They just date, right? We we out here, man. And yeah, then no one's dating. No one's going to fucking uh, the cheesecake factory on oh, a fucking God. Friday. First of all, I don't go to the cheesecake factory, my <laughs> nigga. Lobster. No, I'm saying go nobody goes on a date. Nobody. I don't go to Olive Garden, all that sucker shit. Take <laughs> bitches to the Chinese restaurant, chicken wings and shrimp fried rice. So, is that you think one or the other? No doubt. Nah, they can have both. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Lee. <laughs> Mr. Lee. No, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I mean, if I was, if I was, uh, if I, I, I it's easier now to hook up, though, with, with, uh, Jimmy's still an option now. And uh -huh. I even said this to Bonnie, even when I get off stage now, no girls come up to me anymore. Like, they used to, I mean, back in the day, but I guess I'm just so mean on stage or, you know, just like <laughs> they, they, no one's even, I mean, you know, they know I'm married, they know I have kids, yeah. but usually there's some fucking broad, some fucking low oh, you know, some, someone, <laughs> I, get no, a low self I get nothing, broad. I get nothing. So you reach an age now where people, women don't want to fuck you. Like Tony Woods told me that he goes, he goes, something happened to me. <laughs> They don't want to fuck me. No he goes, cause, and I think you, you, you lie to your, you don't even lie to yourself. The facts are, you're getting laid, you're getting your, and you think I never got to settle down, cause I'll always be able to get pussy forever. And then he just reached a point where he said they, they don't want, they don't fuck me anymore. He's got to start going to like Holiday Inn lounges and stuff and meet older ladies. Yeah, but he, he, yeah, but he don't want to. That's the thing. When you, when you hit that age. Uh, you, nobody wants to fuck you, and you don't want to fuck anybody that can that will fuck you. Anybody your the, age, youngest. I mean, I'm whatever. But I think I, I think it just anyone. happens. I, just I think it just them. happens. Like 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 menopause hits women. Like it just you hit a certain age where women look at you. They go, I don't want this guy inside. No, wait, here's me. the thing. If I was single. <laughs> Now, this is what I mean, you're laughing, but it's going to happen to you. That's why guys like you, you said and, what? You and Russ Maneev, guys like that, are like perpetually single. At some you point, know, you're going to hit an what? age where. You're saying that to some handsome motherfuckers. That's one. 
all right? Russ Manny's a handsome white man, but I'm a handsome motherfucking dude, dog. And I'm just saying, you counting me out. Like, I'm not going to motherfucking get married. It's going to hit you, and you're going to talk to Tony Woods. Talk to the fucking well, here's talk to grasshopper. I'm going I'm gonna to meet. I'm telling you, I'm going to meet her. Here's your deal. I know I am. And you, you want it to be the Somalian bitch. I know. I don't want it to be anybody. Okay. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Here's the deal. Oh, that's so sweet. That was sweet. See? Even if I'm I was single. My life partner. Oh, I love it. Even if I was single, I, I'm too, I wouldn't put the time and the effort into... Like, I'm not right, going to sit right. out all night or go till 2 in the morning to your Listen dumb to their boring club. stories. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I, if I was single, I would have to say, Let, do you want to fuck... I agree with him. Yes, I, I can. I agree with him, but I have a system. Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm brutally honest. Yes. I'm brutally honest, and we not going to do all this sucker shit. We not going to go on I'm, a lot of dates. We not going to go on a lot of dates to figure out if we trying to fuck or not. I have a motherfucking, I have a criteria that you have to meet. We go figure it out that day if there's potential for us to fuck. We ain't got to fuck that day, but if there's potential of us to fuck, then we can see each other again. No, Here's my I'm, point. I'm, I'm, I had a bitch that wanted me to come over just to read books with her. Nigga, I read all fucking <laughs> books of the Hunger Games thinking I'm going to fuck this bitch after the last book. <laughs> Nothing, homie. So I just joined a book club just to be in a fucking book club. Fuck that shit, nigga. Why I you do that in your act? Why you do that in your act? Right. To join the book club. Act, yo. That I'm, book. I'm really the... You want to know some shit? We talking now. No, here's the thing with me, Rich, is like my kids, because like even if I broke up with my wife and then I was on a date, I'd be like, ah, if she, even if I fucked her, she sucked me like Jimmy's talking about, I bet she'd be like, do you love me? I'd be like, no, <laughs> I don't. I love my kids. I don't. I, I don't love. Okay. I'm not gonna love this woman. Like, first of all, you know, even even when I'm walking around the village on a weekend night, I see all these hot women. I'm like, I don't see women as like. I see them as, like sexually, but I see them like all the problems that they'll fucking bring to my life. So, so if I if I hooked up with one, I'm like, it's not worth it. It would be a fucking headache. And and like as hot as women are, they 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 take away much more than they ever give you. Well, I'm also that's that's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Uh, when I've, Jesus I've been when, uh, Adam ate the apple. Apple. That's what it is. It's like they fuck up your life. That bad apple. Well, you know, here's the thing. Wish Gavin was here to agree with me because he's he's a Bible guy, right? Here's the thing. I don't even like. I'm alone. I like to be alone. You know, <laughs> like but, you have a choice. No, I'm oh, kidding. You know I'm speaking I'm for myself. I, I like no, to be alone. On the road, like if I was single and on the road, let's say I pick up a girl. There's no possible way she's staying over. That could not yeah. happen yeah. because I'm too uncomfortable. I need my own space. And I even need that in my marriage. I sleep downstairs probably four, three or four nights out of the week. You know, because I... When why, I do you, why do you sleep downstairs if you're sleeping? Why do you need to be alone when you're sleeping? Oh, no, because I like to, one, uh, when I snore, I don't want to ruin her sleep. Oh, you two, snore. I too, I, you know, I'll watch TV later than her, so I'll just go downstairs. Yeah. You know, whatever. You're on a different schedule. Yeah, and well, she, and she gets up with Raina more than me. That's what I'm saying. Bus up. Yeah, yeah. So, but I don't. I I could not see myself on the dating scene now yeah. at my age and like trying to impress, going over, telling that fucking dumb life story again. Oh my god! That bullshit. Oh my Are you god! Fucking I have to me? fucking talk about Neil and three yeah. mics. Yes. <laughs> my kids. That's the part I like, though. Like that's the only. Oh like, god. I, I don't want to actually fuck anyone else. I just want them to want to fuck me. Like I oh, want yeah. to, that's it. That's well, what I want. I had that with a TV show. I called my manager, this fucking horrible TV show. I said, how the fuck did they not offer me this show? And I was screaming. I go, everybody in New York's doing it but me. He calls me next week and goes, I got you the show. I go, I didn't want to do the fucking show. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted them to offer it to me. I don't right, want to do so it. So I could turn it exactly, down. Exactly. Wait, and I'm going to write this in my act last week. This is no fucking lie. I got an email to do jury duty. I mean, a thing in the mail. So I emailed him why I can't do it. I emailed him. I said, look, I get anxiety and I'll be out of town. I just, you know, so they never responded. So I went to the courthouse. This happened. Th I went to the courthouse Thursday. I go, look, I never heard a response from you guys and it's coming up. What's the deal? So he takes my paperwork and then he looks on line. He goes, well, you said you were arrested. I go, yeah, I was arrested when I was 18. He goes, well, you can't do it anyhow. You're never going to be able to do it. Now I'm thinking, no, fuck you. You don't tell me I can't fucking <laughs> right. do it in my head. That's how right. I, do, I don't do it on my terms. Right. You know what I mean? No, that's part of being a comic where like, it, like you want to, you always want what you can't have. And then yeah. once I give it to you, like, uh, who gives a shit? Yeah, now know? I'm going to get it, the record expunged and then 
be able to do it and then give them, <laughs> give them my excuse why I can't everybody, do it. <laughs> it's all jury duty always seems, so, oh, juries do it. It's like all these things where you're like, I don't want to do them. And then you see a guy comes back with a good jury duty bit and you get pissed. You're like, oh, I should do fucking jury. <laughs> That's how I look at it. I'm like, oh, fuck, I should do jury duty because maybe I'll get a bit out of it. You know, I, I, I got one from them telling me. That's what I'm saying. So you're always like, oh, fuck, you know, I, I mean, at this point, like even when I was at, even when I do stuff now, like, I'm like, oh, shit, especially with the podcast. Like, I almost want weird shit to happen to me so I have something to talk about in my fucking yeah. podcast. Because, like, even today I got my hair cut and the regular guy wasn't Did there. You? The regular guy wasn't there. So I'm like, oh, should I? I, sh I don't want, I shouldn't get my hair cut. I'm like, no, I hope he fucks it up. <laughs> and I'll have something to talk about my podcast because then Jimmy can be like, yeah, yeah, I remember this time I was at the barber shop. You know, you're just looking for fucking, you know. I went today. I got my hair cut in New York. Where? Uh, right across the street from Carol, I was. You wear a hat day. anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, once in a not during the day. Like I'll wear a hat, but not. Yeah, you should, I... yeah, you should wear a hat. Yeah, I you have a funny. Rich. You have a funny head. I don't think I've ever seen Rich. you without a. <laughs> funny head. I got a nice fucking head. Yeah. My hair just got cut. What do you? I got a funny fucking head. I was like a funny head. I never saw the top of your head. <laughs> Like funny. No, no, I never seen it. You never always wear a hat, I was right? You. you never saw my. <laughs> no, but you never wear. You always wear a hat, right? Not, not at home in the day or two. You ever see Greg Fitzsimmons without a hat on? He always wears a hat. He wears like oh, you're that right. fucking. He wears like he's Abby hat. A cab or yeah. selling newspapers in yeah. Chicago. And then he takes off his hat. You're like, oh my fucking god, he's so. No, he's so bald. It's it's like it's it's fucking breathtaking. I'm getting anyway. thin right here. My hair is getting thinner. Yeah. But you're married. Who gives a shit? I do. Okay, so Ritu, talk yeah. about what's going on and and uh, anything what? like yeah. um, your husband. I wanted to call you. I wanted to call you. Your husband or whatever. Oh, like I, I was going to tell you guys. Oh, I have an a, open marriage. How long have you been doing stand up? It'll be three years in June. Wait, wait, wait. You have an open marriage. I have an openish marriage. Yeah. What does that mean? We have rules you about fucking other niggas, dog. Now, because I don't want to take my clothes off. So you'll watch me jerk off in the bathroom between I shows. I mean, I probably not, but. Oh, no. You have to. On. You have it's to. Sort of old time you have to flirt with me first. I mean, I'm not just like. I love that, that blouse. Yeah, and that's. Let's. <laughs> 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 we'll be in the bathroom what now. Hey, what do you even say to a woman? I like, I love that blouse. What? What was the guy supposed to say to you? Like they have to show an interest in in me. You don't really have an open marriage. You say you do. Like most women say a lot of things. You don't. You're not fucking other guys. Because I don't want to. Yeah, but that's still. You're not. You're in still the way, not. Man. You're just still stay, not. You. You fucking married then. Stay yeah. up your shit. So it's like, wait, it's, you mean if, no, I, if, I, also, if I make no, out with also, other guys? No. That's, Rito, that's Rito, Rito, it's the point of like Voss wants to be the one who says no. So, right. so psychologically, exactly right. psychologically, you have an open marriage, but you're not fucking anybody. So, because you don't want, you want to pretend like you can fuck other guys because right. psychologically it's freeing, but you're still not. Are I'm you not bisexual? Because, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't hate women. Oh, that's yes. Is he um, no one time yes. I was dating a girl, and she goes, she goes, when we first started dating, she goes, I don't care if you fuck other people. And that made me not want to fuck other people because she was cool about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I didn't fuck other people. And also, it's too, all, it's like, when you're married, psychologically, you got to play games. Yeah, but also, right, too, right. when someone goes, you can fuck other people, in my mind, they're saying, well, I'm going to fuck other people. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. you know, yeah. that's basically. That's exactly Whose call was it? Your husband's or yours? Or you guys Mine. decided? My, 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 I, brought, I initiated the discussion. And he said, and he said he was all for it. He was fine with it. He's very he, understanding. Would he but watch you fucking another guy? Would he want to watch you fucking another no, guy? No, because like that's when a, I, I, he had to come issue. to the doctor with me, and when he saw the doctor touch my boobs, he was, I was like, why do you have why such would a, it came like a nasty face like that? <laughs> no, he's like, he was upset about it. He's like, I've never seen another man touch your tits. I didn't like that. Oh, what uh, a... He's, he sucks anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the he's most... That's guy. the most I nothing love my that you can do to a woman. It's like yeah. touch your fucking... I mean, it was in a doctor's office. It was pretty like, you know... Was he wearing a, a glove? I don't think the doctor was wearing gloves, no. So what, was his dick jacket? on his dick in his other hand? No, it wasn't. He wasn't a good looking guy either. Why was your, husband in, why why was your husband in there I with you? I was getting my boobs done and I wanted my, my husband to meet the doctor before I went. Uh, you have lovely boobs. Thank you, I appreciate that. No, so wait, no, so, no, so no, he, was, he was not cool with that, but he's gonna be a cool, cool with you fucking Jimmy on this couch over here. I'm not, no I mean, I'm not cool with fucking Jimmy on the couch. Why isn't it my well, Who are you gonna fuck though? Oh, I don't think it's funny. I, I, I haven't she's... met anybody I want to fuck. First of all, I've met people I want to kiss. My skin is a little too chocolatey. Oh, listen, uh, I've dated a black guy. Don't pull that shit with me, Jimmy. Just, you know, for Name. three years. Name him. 
A Remember comic? Johnson? No. Oh, he name. was a black guy. Uh, he was a black Remember guy. Johnson. He called himself L.A. Trev. That's some how black candy. he was. He was Come from on. L.A. Come on. I swear to God he did. Oh, L.A. Trev. L.A. Trev. I don't been know doing about that. Three years. Three years. So do guys hit on you after your shows? Never. Uh, yes, because the clubs you're working. They <laughs> don't. <laughs> 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 No guys ever come up to you and talking about the audience. The yeah, yeah. I get other comics hitting on me, not not on really. Yeah, yeah. What, what is no, I don't mean like yeah. really because I don't know, think I don't married. think male audience members no. find uh, female comics attractive. Do you think? Does Bonnie get hit on a lot? No, well maybe until she fucking talks to them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. She throws, starts on her feminism and you know, yeah, she's, she's a, a fucking yeah. feminist, you know. But she also no, sees it's... the hypocrisy with women too. She's no dummy. She's not. She's I like fucking, your wife a lot. Oh God. Yeah, but it's like the, it's almost the opposite. Where a woman comic, it it doesn't attract guys. I don't think where, so. I think like it's woman being them. on like, stage. I don't want it. To, I want her to talk about. Yeah, women my aren't dick. supposed to be on stage. No, we're not. I think even I even I think for my kids, it's like okay, you know, my son. You know, he walks around. He'll stand at the mirror uh, of our, uh, you know, of our apartment. And I'll just show his dick to the world, yeah. you know? And my daughter, she's already getting dressed privately. So right. it's like a woman that's going to go on stage, That it's just, it's kind of unnatural. And people, they, they, they're they not turned on by it, you no, know? No, it's not. It's not. Unless, you're, unless you're naked. Even if you're naked, a guy will hit on you, but, he, but he's still like intimidated by you. I feel like these male feminists might be attracted to it, though. These what? vegan, vegan types. Uh, yeah, like they comics? might, like, yeah, to female comics. Maybe, because if you're cause good, maybe pussies. they think you're a meal ticket, you know? Yeah. They might you want to see date Amy Schumer. You know what I mean? Like if you're a dude, yeah, isn't that? It'd be like well, once she's got too much. Once she would yeah, have too she much had, financial and power over you. Yeah, so you got to do what she says. Wouldn't you like that? Though? The I mean, you I wouldn't, but some men would love that. I like, some I would men like would equal, love to be supported. I like an equal support. I like an unequal just, support. You want to be in charge? Be, yeah, I was. I always go after uneducated women. Or, <laughs> I've never dated a professional woman, partly because I don't have a professional job. But see, also too, there's female comics that. She's they're doing real well. So now their ego, how is just a regular guy to deal with that fucking crazy... I think that's a part of it, big part of it. Crazy no, comics, what? Comics are fucked up. Comics are self-centered, egotistic, egotistical, oh, I think, I think you low self-esteem. No, but you start, out, you start out one way, and then the yeah. business makes you even more self-centered because you become yes. obsessed with how you're doing, you know? Well, not only that, because you're dealing with yes and no and mainly no on a daily basis. And rejection. So, it's, so, it's, so. Yes, no, it's, so that's what self-centered, where you're dealing with your own self-centeredness but also all those no's beat you down so now as a self-centered person and you have now your self-esteem is getting fucking chipped away at from this fight you know if you let it if you let yeah. it and and so you're dealing with a crazy fucking person right basically. well one person has to be the star in the relationship and if it's the woman the man has to be okay with that you and also when I babies and they need to be enjoyed. when i dated a I, I i i only date when i first started i would date female comics and they were always like it was a headache because they want to talk about their act, and I'm like, come on, I don't want to talk about your act. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about comedy, really. You know, and especially like they're like, does that joke? I'm like, who cares? Like, is that joke funny? Who does the audience laugh at it? If they laugh at it, it's funny. Don't go by what I said. A guy wanted to say. A guy said, can it, will you look at my tape? I go, no. Oh, never. A guy goes, can you? Will you look at my tape? I sent it to you. I go, you can send it to me, but I'm not gonna look at it. I never will look at. It. Well, we like, well, like what kind of what kind of, even if I like it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does the crowd like it? Yeah. We do it on our podcast once in a while. Well, someone open micers will send us their tapes, and we fucking review. I, I saw you guys. There was some some guy, and then there was a woman host who like yes yeah, started heckling or yeah, walking, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're reviewing the so sometimes funny. we'll review them and just beat them down. That was one of and the funniest things I've ever this heard. This fucking guy, Is the guy there. No, no, they so send they them send the and tape. we play it and we go over. Maybe I'll have people. I'll oh review God, their tape and then I'll, so and then I'll have them in the that. studio. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'll go listen. <laughs> so, no, I actually uh, a friend of Greer's. I can't remember her name, but she 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 said, "Can you watch me do do a set?" So I went to Stam, New York. I watched her. Then I was. Oh, going, I know who recently? it is. I was going recently? across town like a year ago. Then I'm going across town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm going across town with her on a bus. And I go, I go, you know, that joke didn't work. She goes, well, she goes, it usually works. I go, listen, here, here's the thing. You usually do open mics and you follow a shitty comic and maybe the joke works because I go, you followed my jokes. My jokes are better than your jokes. Yes. So you can pretend the joke works. But if it didn't get a single laugh, then just you got to get rid of it because it's like obviously it's got problems. And she's like, no. So even when I was giving her like constructive criticism, she was just saying, I'm not interested yeah. in it.
Oh, and that's the whole LA, LA scene because they're so nice to each other and like they're so delusional on what they think is. I'm not talking about headliners. I'm yeah. talking about you know yeah. these comics that are fucking long term professional, basically open micers. They've been right. doing it for twelve fucking years and they're still open micers. Right. Same in New York, and they're delusional because one, their friends are there laughing that are just as delusional as them and have nothing going on. So once you get out and you're doing these fucking clubs and and Look, you know what's funny. I know what's funny. He knows what's funny. She's going to know what's funny after three years. No, but we know. I know if a bit has potential. I don't go by the audience, but I've been doing it over 30 fucking years. But a new comic doesn't know. They're delusional. Yeah, but even I'm delusional. Like, if I do a bit that I think should work and then it doesn't work, I can only I can only say to the crowd so many times, like, oh, that's a great joke. No, but you, you know? can revise it. You go, well, I can, I I can fix it, but I'm saying I can't. You can't fight. You can only fight the crowd so much. You're right. But then sometimes you do stuff. I so, mean, no, but I'm saying a yeah. joke that I might like. Yeah. If you do a joke that, that maybe is too dark or yeah. too whatever, too funny for the crowd... Then they don't laugh, and I, if that's the kind of joke I'm going to think is funny. I don't, I don't, yeah. like, I don't even hear jokes anymore. When I watch a guy do a, do a set, you know, if I'm sitting around at the at the comedy store or whatever, and it, everybody else is laughing, they look at me like I go, I don't even hear it. Like I, I can, I can listen to what they're yeah. talking about, but I'm not listening for the joke. I'm not getting, gonna, I'm not going to get tricked. Oh, he did a nice after 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 the fact. I might go, oh, that was a good switch or whatever. But I'm not. I, it, I, it doesn't appeal. It doesn't hit me. You know, I'm just shut down or whatever. I'm like so dead inside. <laughs> Neil's three mics or whatever. Uh, uh, I, I we've talked about this in the car. I don't really watch. I never watch people's specials. Never. But I ha I do have listened to. I have listened to them in the car and Sears. But I, within a. 30 seconds, I'll cut them off. I swear to God, I do that now because, you know, the podcast game, I try, I listen to people's podcasts and I fucking try. Paul Mercurio was doing his with uh, Bobcat Goldthwait and after a minute, I just fucking went like, I tried to listen to Mark Marin. Yeah. Uh, you know, because everyone's like, oh, he's got the best podcast. I, he was, he's, he's got Pete Corielli. I'm like, okay, this should be interesting. He has Pete Corielli like about his dad. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out. Like, I don't give a shit about Pete Corielli's dad. So it's like, I, I try to, I, try, but I can't. Like, I don't know if I'm to the point where now I'm like, I'm just done. I can't. Like, all I want to, and we, when I go to Netflix, all I want is, like, documentaries. All I want is information. I don't want, I don't want to be entertained. I almost don't want to be entertained. I just want information. Yeah, but I, I love. That's one thing I do love. I love talking about comedy. I do love comedy. Like, I saw a guy last night who I, I had major resentment towards. Uh, Bonnie did a show with uh, Jonathan Katz last night. But he's, like, crippled in a wheelchair. He is? Yeah, there's something wrong with him. He's not crippled. Guy who did Dr. Dr. Katz? Yeah. And I had, he said, like, I used to book one-nighters when I first started comedy. To yeah. Work. And I always gave him work. Always. And he used to, he wasn't, he used to bomb a lot back yeah. then. Yeah. And then he got Dr. Katz, and he never gave it to me. And I used to, and whatever, and maybe thought, and I would have been great for that show because I was divorced, I was in recovery, I had, you know, a lot of fucked up things going on in my head. Yeah, but plus they would have made your head really funny. Cause yeah. you're... Plus, he, but, but anyhow, I saw him last night and, and seeing him in, uh, you know, walking with a cane or in that, I go, you know what, you got to let go of these fucking stupid resentments. Yeah. You know, these fucking dumb, but I was talking to him about some old things. I don't know. You were I, talking to him? Yeah. Oh, you were talking. Yeah, Bonnie was doing his show last night, yeah. a live show in Philly. He oh. did Dr. Katz Live oh. with Bonnie and two other comics. Yeah. I talked to him for a few minutes, and it was tough. And then I'm going, why is these motherfuckers living rent-free in my head? There's no fucking reason for it. What do you mean rent-free in your head? He had the resentment. Right? I have a resentment. And, and, so you let it go? Well, not still. I still have a little bit, but, <laughs> but I know there's, I'll never do it. You know, it's it, fucked so. up because when Patrice died, like Patrice was always kind of a dick to me, but, you know, that's kind of how he was, you know, but he was always like kind of disrespectful to me. So, and and like he didn't mean it. It was, it was just being Patrice, you know, and then when he died, I watched his, uh, the special he did, the elephant in the room. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, it was fucking great. Like I felt bad that I was like, but it, and then I watched when he when he roasted Charlie Sheen. I was like, oh my god, it was so fucking. He just was like the he was the way he was slamming it was slamming Jeff Ross. He was like fucking great jokes. And it, was, it made me kind of it yeah. made me appreciate him, but it also made me like, holy shit, dude! Like, so you you gotta wait for everyone to die before you can like like them. And I'm like, maybe. 
my career's dead, so you can <laughs> you semi like. No, but it was. It's basically to your point. Like you hold it, but it, like, how long should you hold on to shit for? I don't know. I, I, there's some shit in my life I can't let go. There's some stuff, and you know, I don't know. It's just, look, I'm too. I'm just too old to fix. That's true. It's fun holding on to some of the shit too, isn't it? It's almost yeah. amusing in some. Oh well, yeah, because you, I get good material out of yeah. it. And plus, when you see a guy who's like sick, I was at the I was at Seven yeah. Eleven the other day, and I, we gotta wrap it up. But I was at Seven Eleven, and uh, across the street from the from the cellar, I was like, oh, I gotta fucking do spots tonight. I just was tired because my wife's work and whatever. I'm just fucking tired, you know. My kids are like waking up early for school, so I'm at the Seven Eleven. I see this guy come in with a uh, he's got one leg. He's got a cane in each hand, and he's on his one good leg. He's on rollerblades, you know. And I was like, Blade. "What the fuck?" Yeah, he's on. And I'm, I didn't even tell him, like, you know, they're not even in style anymore. But <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm like you. I'm like, dude, you really don't have problems compared to this fucking one-legged fucking yeah. idiot on rollerblade. You know what I mean? Just, but even then, I still it didn't last very long. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like, I snapped out of it. Then as soon as I went to the underground, I'm like, fuck these people, you know? Because it's just, you get sick of shit. You just, it's just exhausting. Well, look at our lives. Bonnie goes, you know, if, if we live in a townhouse, you know, we, we cars, pay, whatever we want, we get it. Whatever we want, we'll just go get it. Yeah. And, and she complains and she goes, can you imagine if some fucking refugee or some fucking whatever saw you complaining that, you know, the fucking, the, the fucking steak or the turkey burger wasn't cooked yeah. right in the fucking diner yeah. you know and you, you know these mother people are fucking starving all you know what you know whatever you just we take things for granted no, you're supposed to put things in perspective but it's hard because it really you, you're you still like you still got your own fucking shit in your head you know so my, my daughter who's 24 now when she was i'm not lying when she was like 11 i said eat your dinner it's so true and she used to say this i go eat your dinner in some countries people are starving at 11, she goes, whether I eat it or not, they're still fucking starving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At 11. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it gets easier. I, I just don't know what happens. Ritu, what do you got on that? Uh, I hate my fucking neighbors, and I hope that uh, he loses his job and they move. Like, I'm not going to apologize for that. I like enjoying, I enjoy the grudge. Why do you hate thing. them? Because they're assholes. I mean, it's a long story. You live in a townhouse or a real yeah, house? I live in a real house. So it helps, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he can bother you living next door? Living across the street. Oh. I have to see that fucking cunt face every day across the You guys in like some kind of neighborhood association thing? No. no. How, what do they do that you hate them? They leave their, their leaves out or something? I interacted with them and no. Who gives a shit? Do you interact with them? Like you can't even, like my, I have neighbors that like we hear them. We hear their dog. We hear like all kinds of, sh we hear like they wake us up at night. They don't, do they wake you up? We were friends and then we weren't friends and now, am I not on the mic? Am I on the mic? Yeah, All right. So uh, we were friends and then we weren't friends because she stopped talking to me because she's a cunt. And then we were friends. Then she decided to start talking to me and then she decided to stop talking to me again. So I'm like, what if you're with the drama? There's a lot of fakeness. It's just a lot of bullshit. Like my side of the street is not fake. What if your husband fake wants to fuck her? When you open marriage, what if your husband yeah. is? That's, that would be a fucking problem. That would be a problem. What's her problem with you? Um, she thinks she's perfect. She like does yoga. She teaches yoga and shit. She's all like. And she thinks you're a. She's she, 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 she's got she knows you're a nightclub comic and you'll and you'll, and I used you'll to fuck strangers. And, like, passed out in the fucking. You're not. No, I mean you do have like a weird lifestyle compared yeah, to her. I do because I'm interesting. I'm not fucking boring like that bullshit. Okay? Yeah. All right, Jimmy. We got You got any plugs? Yeah, man. Um, shit. I'm not. Uh, the real Jimmy I'm Martinez not. on Instagram. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, no show, but you didn't expect him to really show. I didn't, you know, you already Because he's know. busy, you know, and whatever, shit happens. Kevin Hart was going to come by because him and Jimmy have a situation. He told us about it, but I have to, I, I, I couldn't really follow it. But anyway, the point is that uh, he, he's not going to come by. If they say, if, if, if somebody says they might do something, that means they ain't going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Especially if they're a celebrity because he's not, he's... It's just the way it is, right, Voss? Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, if a celebrity yeah. says they might do something, that means they're not going to do it. If they say they're going to do something, something could, could come up, you know, that's so so much more important that's worth fucking a lot of money to them. Yeah. You know, I mean, his money, hit right now, his time. Look, he travels with eight people. Yeah, Kevin Hart's a good guy anyway, right? He's not a, he, he's he not a bad guy. I mean, I've never, he's, he's very, yes. he's always, he's, he's never he's like genuine, fucking, authentic. that was a fucking dick that fucking, uh, that guy, uh, G.A.D., 
He's he, oh Gad, the yeah. one from Ireland or something. Oh, he's from France. Yeah, he, like oh. he always he always acts like he always acts like he's fucking like he walks by me like, I think I think he I, when he first came here. He said, "Oh, I heard you got a good podcast." And we were never he was never on because he's not around that much. So, so I don't know if that was like anything. Like he thought he was he was mad I didn't invite him on, but like the other night I I was following me at the underground. And you know at the underground you kind of have to walk by the other comic when they're when they're coming through, you have yeah. to go through. He just walks right by me. I'm like, "Just acknowledge me. Just fucking acknowledge me." So I'm like, that's when you just go like like seriously, man. Like like you're not like I know you have like 5 million Twitter followers, but they're in France. You know what I mean? Like, France just picked the fucking gay guy. Uh, I mean, France is so backwards. They're, they're, they're supposedly the guy that one is gay. He married his teacher, and the right wing person is a woman. So, where in what country is the right wing politician a woman? Usually, it's the opposite, yeah. right? The right the right wing guy is a, is a white male, and then the woman's gonna be the fucking like here, a normal country. <laughs> Hillary's a fucking liberal. Right and Trump, so it's just they do everything. But he just has his attitude. I'm like, that's where I'm like, I can't like, I, that's why like you, to my grave, I'll be like, that guy hates me. I don't know what the fuck I did. But in in in, in who gives? Just come on the show, like tell me, like that's the whole thing about the show, like just tell me. I don't uh, give a fuck. Just say, just say why you don't like me. Do they just not like you because they hear? They, about yeah, you? they don't like me because it's easy to now. It's easy to not like me because I I just I'm just not likable. I don't I can't sit at the table. I can't sit at the table uh, and like. Like, and then pretend like I don't want to pretend. I don't want to sit there at the table. Like, yeah, I would sit there. I would sit there. But then even after a while, it became a problem. And that's why I would like put in a danger for us because I would keep moving. But we like one if we're at the table, at least back in the day, and even still, I mean, it's only Keith left. We're gonna call somebody out if we're gonna call him out. If, yeah, but it don't know. happen like that anymore because it's much uh, more like only political. With me and Keith, because everybody thinks we're assholes. Yeah, and all, it was all the younger guys. They they don't. They just don't do sit it. there. They just sit there and they're all like, you know, they're you know, they're like Amy fucking whatever the word, like her backup singers. Yeah, so they're all nice and they all they're all funny. All have good acts, but they all they're all very polite. They don't they don't drunk. They're not. They don't have drug problems. They don't have fucking drinking problems. Yes. I mean, I tweeted that one day. I'm like, the young guys, they're all, none of them have, none of them are like junkies, and it's sad. I miss those days, you know? They, it's, I don't know. All right, we got to wrap it up. All right, I'll be at a, a Summer's Point, not Summer's Point, uh, Stone Harbor, May 20th. Uh, I want to sell some tickets. Uh, Ritu, you want to plug anything? Brokerage, 19th and 20th, MCing, and I'll be uh, hosting for Dan Soder at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie, May 27th. Whoa. Dream come true. Yeah. Uh, this weekend, I'm at fucking Magoobie's. Thursday through Saturday. It's in a big Florida. room. And then next weekend, I'm at Levity. Levity Live. That's good. Jimmy, uh, my podcast. Real Jimmy Martinez at Instagram. Yeah. Right, so let's try to keep it real, everybody. And uh, God bless America.